for a bit. Okay. Yeah, oh. just say some stupid shit, and that's that's Utava. Are you a lady? Oh, <laughs> damn. There you go. Oh, oh you're oh, not. You got not. legs that go up to your waist. Wow. Damn. Bear meat, are you here? Yes. Okay. So we're all here. Seems yes. like it. Okay. Well done. Welcome everyone to session three of the Alfredo Adventures. Not Certainly it's not four. Three. Four. <laughs> <That's> four. <laughs> I can count. <laughs> How do we know uh -oh. any of these roles are legitimate? <laughs> yeah. Brought to you yeah. by they Pasta Entertainment. Everything has Alright. I've never been entertained by pasta. <laughs> so you're not eating pasta. Maybe that's right? a you thing, yeah. Pasta's <laughs> uh, so pretty when good. We last left off, you Some guys... of the big ones. I mean, pasta tastes good, but I haven't uh, been entertained by it. Through these bandits that were uh, trying to take over this here town of Nightstone, yeah. as well as all the orcs that were trying to also uh, fight them off, they decided to start heading uh, north into the forest to try and find these villagers. So you've been riding now for about a couple of miles when you... Finally, uh, come across what appears to be a little sort of hill area. Uh, with a nice little cave here facing your way. What? Where? New map? Yeah. Sorry, I don't have, I, I don't have a map for, like, the actual outside uh, part of this okay. here. Okay. Um. So there's just a cave... Yeah, the cave with like is that the same cave with the goblins? Y'all, y'all should ask. Sure. Gum, you, gum. you notice that the like tracks from the people are leading into this cave. Like people, I, like okay, footprints. Say, yeah, like I footprint. say we go in. Ew, nasty! They're running around about to gum gum. Gum. I look to Gum Gum. I ask him, "Is this they your cave?" Footprints. I ask Gum Gum. gum if, yeah. Uh, he's remaining a little silent right now. Uh, can I oh, talk? Why though? Speak. Persuade. I look at the, look at the girl. Lose a finger. Guys, I think we should probably like, is be he, stealthy. If is we he go scared? In or like, can I make an like a check, an insight check, or something? If he's like scared or like uh, sure. nervous. Okay. Go ahead. <gasps> Not twenty. <laughs> yeah, it definitely Let's seems very go. nervous so about sorry. answering your, your questions here about this cave. Dude, but I wait, bet Gum Gum is gonna be like the Jar Jar <laughs> of like Jar Jar Banks of this world. So. What were you saying though? Oh, he's the him? real uh, Sith Lord. What he knows he? we're here to <laughs> slaughter his friends. <laughs> oh. Well, we're what? gonna I go and do it anyway. Tables. Okay, so hey, you're guys, just gonna go straight be, into uh, the cave here. Sneaky about going in I mean, there. Yeah, yeah, um, wait. So wait is there is there like a place we could tie up our horses? Yeah, I was gonna like, say. Safely. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Our yeah. Horses. You're in a forest, so there's trees around you. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm, uh, I'm a little uh, worried that they might try to steal their horses back. Can, can I, I look for like a hidden alcove to kind of just put everything, put all the horses to just have them chill? Like a hidden alcove in the forest, or just like a nice little spot that's not like too conspicuous where we could tie them all up. Uh, like I said, you're in a forest. Bushes. There's like plenty of trees around, lots of grass and like plants around. We just don't. So. Someone, we don't want someone to steal our horses, <laughs> like we did. That we stole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> understand. <laughs> <Yeah>. They're ours <laughs> now. Uh. Like the, like um, the clearing around the hill seems to be very much wide open space. The like I said, you got plenty of trees. Um, they all there doesn't seem to okay. be like any sort of like bushes right. or anything really for you. I tie I tie up my horse in yeah. some tree cover, like the densest tree cover nearby. I, I'll do the I same. See where, yeah, I was like I see where Cantum was, and I was like, okay, my horse. My horse is since I have <laughs> okay. two. Two. And Utava, you now yeah. have an Utava. Can we see yeah. into the cave yet, or is like, can we see anything like at the entrance? It of the is. Cave, other um, than the uh, do any of you have dark vision? 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Couple of us. I think probably just assume everyone does. I think everyone does. Maybe <laughs> I not. I, 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 I do not. Vision. You don't? I'm pretty sure I don't. I think I think Utava then you oh, and someone else doesn't, but I do. Yeah. So... I do not have dark vision, but I have um, torches, which I will use. In I do okay. have some lanterns for people if they need. Um, I I think I have like a feat somewhere that's like it makes me it lets me make light. I'm trying to find it. You can also oh, blend I mean, in really well by that. trees. Don't worry. I have the, um, uh, so I could like stand near the entrance. closest tree. I don't know if there are any trees like cantrip? close to the entrance yeah. or not. Oh. Um, they all seem to be rather like around like the same distance from it, so there's not really one that's closer per se. Okay, can I stand next to the closest tree um, to the cave and look in with my dark vision while I blend oh, yeah. in? Yeah, so you see like. Um, Looking inwards, you sort of see that the path from this cave sort of narrows down a bit. So, like, only, a, like, you guys would have to go in, like, side by side, like, okay. two at a time to get in. Right. Okay. Uh, you s sort of can also sort of see in there, like, there's a lot of uh, stalagmites and some stalactites as well. And it does appear like it would eventually open into a bit more of a broader area there, so. Okay. Okay. I guess we should try to stealth in. Yeah. So should we like bring? So how, how are we going to stealth with light though? If we have lanterns or whatever. We are not going to use lanterns. You Contu will just... main stealth, and he doesn't want to go in if he can't see. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's understandable. I respect that. Yeah. We could yeah. like could two of us with dark vision go in that's ahead right. and scout yeah. it out a little. Maybe the best. Uh, sure. You can go in. Who, I've who's... got pretty good stealth. I can make I myself I have invisible stealth. should we to need uh, someone. <laughs> That'd be pretty in. good. I <laughs> also can good. make myself That's invisible. That's so cool. <laughs> should be somebody who can send a message. To I can also send a message. And you, yeah, you can send a message. I can, yeah, I can also send turn a invisible. message, but I cannot turn invisible. So maybe that's not for me. Okay. So maybe the two people. So maybe uh, the, the two, two people invisible who can people. turn invisible <laughs> could go take a little scout. That yeah. seems kind of smart, yeah. And we can kind of yeah. wait out here. Yeah. Who else turns invisible? Is it e Edith? No, I'm, Seraphina. I'm looking. Seraphina. I'm trying oh, to... Oh, Seraphina. Seraphina, do you have dark vision? I do. Oh, cool. I... Oh, wait, dude. I do not have invisibility, but I can disguise myself. Ah, okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, in the Quite forest, I can blend in. Like, I need, like, a couple leaves and I can blend in. But in a cave, oh, wait, not so much. Side. Okay, um, so who's going in? Uh, Wait, hold on. So, and... it's so I'm thinking. I'm thinking like I disguise myself as Gum Gum and then go in. <laughs> oh my god! No, I think that'd be really funny. No, no? okay, fine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> if you um, want, no. whatever. Okay, I'm not. Just, oh my god! It's a really rough plan. Okay, fine. Fine. I really think going invisible is the best idea. Well, okay, we can I'm gonna like... have we can shelf that idea for now. How but... long if you can't you speak now? goblin, oh, then what is? The... Wait, I'm oh yeah, I can't speak goblin. Crap, that's gonna be pretty bad. Yeah, Let's you guys workshop this, and we'll go in. <laughs> you had your tongue cut out or Actually, something. So mine is a creature I touch becomes invisible. Can oh, that mean I can you can make touch yourself? You can touch yourself. <laughs> yeah, you can go touch ahead, touch yourself. Are you else invisible if they want? But I can go in. You just touch your yeah. Just go for it. Give yeah. yourself a little tap. We don't have to say the yeah. whole phrase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She was so... In case you need yep. the uh, description That's there. Exactly How long does it last? Is. Oh, up to an hour? Cool. Yeah. That's. Oh, you have gonna, the... Okay, nice. I'm going to see if the bot will play some some music. You might have to turn it down when it yeah. immediately joins. Because it starts at full on. <laughs> Be warned. Oh, crap. Okay. I need it at higher level. It's not a I'm tremendously loud song, but uh, yeah. I'm getting ready for it. Oh, I already have it real low. Okay, cool. Yeah, same. Cool. Perfect. Now I'll just loop this. Perfect. This okay, seems cool. sufficiently. This is great music like for music? a cave. Yeah, I like it. I'm just yeah. gonna turn it down slightly. Yeah. Okay, so again, who's going into the cave? Seraphina uh, and Sir Edric. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so 
Yeah, we both cast invisibility. Um, this is really loud music. Turn it down. Yeah, what did yeah, I just say? Turn it down. The, what did the I hydra, just say? The yeah, hydra uh, person. Or, right click hydra yeah. and then change Hello. the user volume. Hello. Hey. Hola. There we go. I was like, I couldn't hear anybody else. There we go. Okay. What'd you say? Right okay. click Hydra. Uh, yep, no, I got that part. I already oh, fixed it okay. I was asking what uh, Sir Edric said. <laughs> so, okay. like, right before he uh, casts Invisibility, he puts, like, his hand on your shoulder. Uh, that way we can, you know, figure out where each other are. And, oh. and he says, oh, yes, Whoa. we'll just kind of walk Bro. together slowly. Wait. Before you go in, can I ca uh, use my cantrip to cast Guidance <laughs> on... the only way. Uh, I will cast Guidance. Let me look at it real quick to make sure I can do this. Yeah, I will touch... Uh, ooh. Yeah, it, it's a touch base. Uh, I'm going to touch someone. Sarah Edric. I'll, yeah, I'll touch you. And uh, it lasts up for a minute, but uh, you can roll a d4 and add the number to one ability check. So I'll just okay. do that real quick. Just in case. Nice. Uh, I also cast invisibility, and I say, "Okay, let's go, Sir Edric." All right. Yeah. With this, I just kind of keep my hand on his shoulder so we can figure out where each other are. Uh, that way, we don't get separated. <laughs> Running into yeah. somebody while invisible could be uh, potentially dangerous. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Oh dang! Whoa! Uh, new map. Where am I? New map. New map. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wake up, babe. New map just dropped. <laughs> Dude, these caves are drippy, man. I'm dripping yeah. with excitement. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, don't say that. You, Yo, I you think I'm tripping, tripping caves, balls. You're, uh, <laughs> you hear the faint pattern of uh, water coming down from the ceiling. Ooh. It seems to be somewhat echoing throughout all this here cave. Oh, like a drip, yeah. drip, drip kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't really seem to be any sort of like pattern to it or anything, so. Okay. Um, so I, I mean, I'm slightly behind um, Serafina, yeah, so I'm just like front. hand on his shoulder. So yeah, I'm just kind of gonna let him lead a little bit. Okay. So we're gonna just go forward a little bit. I mean, we're invisible, yeah. so. Yeah. Okay. Kind of slowly walking in, um, being a little quiet. Uh, move back a bit here. Too far. Before you go. <laughs> Back up, Jack. So, as you guys are going, getting near, you do start to see... You do have dark vision, is that correct? Yes. Correct. Okay. So, you're starting to see in this here large area that there are some goblins uh, looking out around here. Okay. As well as what appears to be an orc inside oh, a natural mud bath. Oh, we're we're only like thirty feet into this thing, right? Why is that orc so massive? Either. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because it, I don't know. He is orc. Rogue. That's an orc. Is, um, is that an orc or an ogre? He's it's enormous. Orc. Okay, like, um, he looks more like an ogre. It's that's just four I'm... four side, four tiles. It's oh no, wait, and do mean a... I I, uh, I guess As he's kind of it's the side of a freaking elephant. <laughs> no, sorry. I bet you are. This is indeed an ogre, not an orc. Those were the okay. Very different. That, different. Makes, more okay. that <laughs> makes more sense. That makes more sense. Yeah, I was um, like, dang, that's a big orc. I rolled up. I kind of <laughs> push uh, push him a little bit in a towards like the middle of the cave, somewhere where we could so where I could whisper at least a little bit, okay. uh, like maybe. Uh, Maybe you're gonna whisper to the like over here somewhere. No, to hey, to Nick hey or babe, what you doing page. tonight? <laughs> I, I I actually just I feel you push and I like come back where they can't hear us like over oh, here. Oh, okay, okay, I guess that works. <laughs> We're behind natural cover. And yeah, invisible. Their hearing is based on line of sight. Mm. <laughs> um, exactly. You probably well, line, of, line of line of hearing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah, what you, be you, you yeah, better hope so... everything's dripping real loudly. Um, trying to find mm -hmm. everyone's names. I forget everyone's name. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Um, <laughs> who are you? <laughs> and real quick, I just did notice that uh, Myella did ask others if they 
if you wanted to uh, scout like the area around while they're exploring the cave. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you get? Do you guys actually do that? I'd like to. Yeah. Corner okay. Does not. Corner is gonna wait. wait and I didn't want to like. Yeah. I, I didn't. Yeah. Well, I don't want to go too cave. far. Just like the yeah. area around it. Yeah. You know. You know? Like at the entrance, around. ready for a fight. That's what he's waiting <laughs> for. <Pretty much. laughs> okay. Corner is expecting them to run out of there screaming. Right. <laughs> mm. I'm indifferent. If they die, they die. What did you whisper to me? I was going to whisper a message to one of them. That's why I wanted to go farther in, maybe have them oh. attack from the front, and then we flank or something. They oh, have I guess, come I guess up I, with yeah, I can whisper that to you too. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, whisper me a plan we, first. We, I don't know. We go a little yeah. deeper in the cave, make sure the back of the cave is mostly clear, and then have them attack from the front. And as soon as they notice them, we can uh, hit a, hit them from behind. The old pincer like movements. Now, uh, it's actually really a good plan. Uh, another thing about the uh, goblins here is that they're on like uh, ledges that are about like ten feet up off the ground is there as well. So, mm. ah. okay. Um, yeah. well, then I all will... these fucking stalagmites in the middle. Oh yeah, Thank there's God. like a little like ores of stalagmites there in the middle there as well. Okay, right. so are they like point... natural cover? Or are they? Well, I guess Contum doesn't know anyway, but. Anyway, so I uh, guess um, me and uh, Sir Edric... I, I, I'm going to, real quick before we go, I'm going to cast a message to uh, Quoner. Um, and I'm going to say uh, multiple goblins and at least one orc. Uh, ogre. In, ogre, sorry. Uh, inside the main cave uh, opening. Uh we will scout ahead, uh, exercise caution. Uh, you can reply this message if you need to. And, Owner yeah, that's it. relays the message uh, with a look of disgust on his face. <laughs> okay, so... Contune starts salivating. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to kind of go explore maybe over here to see if we can see any other immediate peoples. Okay. Uh, give me a stealth roll. Okay, this should be interesting. They'd have advantage on it with invisibility, right? Correct. Yeah. Usually, at least. Yeah. Don't forget, you should still have the guidance. I could need to have that. Oh, oh my god. You didn't with roll advantage? advantage. Wait, you yeah. didn't roll with advantage. Yeah, roll it again. Well, DM didn't say advantage, but just, I Ooh. guess... Oh my god. Five. You know, it's probably not important if you did or not. Okay, okay. But, but you get to roll, you can roll the uh, guidance I should with definitely it. use that guidance should I still have it. It was a, I think a 1d4. It is 1d4. Let me check. Oh yeah, 1d4. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, Incredible. Yikes. Dude, some terrible things are going to happen. Six. I am so Six. sorry, dude. Okay. I can think of one terrible thing 20. that would happen. You just like kick a rock across the floor. <laughs> nah, dude, there's like a mud bath right there. That's what I'm scared of. <laughs> so We haven't even gone over there. Oh, man. And Seraphine is in front of you? Yeah, yes. I have a 20. Okay. A so, 20 and a 6. I think it's kind of <laughs> mellow out a little bit. So as you I imagine... Start... Go ahead. Oh, go. No, I was, I was going to say I imagine like a Looney Tunes-esque scenario where the one in front is like tiptoeing and the one in the yeah. back steps on like a branch and then the one in the front like <laughs> whirls around and goes Shh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah what? so as you guys are starting to walk here uh so Edric, you accident uh not being used to being invisible you accidentally uh trip over yourself and end up uh falling on the ground here Ooh. it creates a bit of a same noise the goblins definitely are looking around and such <laughs> for it uh luckily since you guys are still invisible they think it might have been like a falling rock or something but they are definitely a little bit more <laughs> alerted now to their Trip surroundings over your invisible shoelaces <laughs> <laughs> okay um you guys could probably still keep going. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna say yeah, we can yeah, you going. can still keep going. Uh, just, don't do that yeah, again. Be careful. <laughs> no more guys. So, uh, okay, so 
he is going to kind of pick up a small rock on like while they're walking. Okay. Um, um, and we keep going. He's going to like kind of chuck it down this hallway, like when once we get when we pass it. I can't hear you. Oh, my audio turned off. Uh, maybe that's it. You I can hear you now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dude, the audio is coming out of my computer. It's not going into my headphones. Oh, mm. just pull up Windows Sound and change it, or Discord, one of those yeah. that usually fixes it. Uh, headphones um, disconnected or something. Okay, I got it. I got it. I fixed it. We're nice. good. <laughs> Why does that make your microphone sound so much worse? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's make probably sure the headset versus switch. his laptop yeah. mic. Yeah. Yeah. Headphone mics are more convenient. Okay, that's why I'm using it. Weird. <laughs> Okay. It's just more compressed because it's going through USB. No, I'm using wireless. That's why. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah, even more thing. compressed. <laughs> I paid $80 phone. for this. You have to suffer, okay? Wow. It's, it's actually getting worse. <laughs> Come on. Okay, let, let's keep moving. Right, let's keep yeah, moving. Yeah. 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 We're going to keep moving up. Up and over. Yeah. And uh, like I said, as soon as we kind of pass this hallway, he's going to chuck that like small rock that he picked up into it to see, to kind of throw him off. Like as soon as we're passing it. What was that noise? Hmm. Must have been the wind. <laughs> like that that's what he's going for. <laughs> or at least to maybe draw a couple of them over there for an even easier fight. Uh, give lines. me a uh, dexterity roll. Oh, okay. Ooh, we know that's great too. <laughs> <laughs> He's smart. He's just not athletic. <laughs> mm. There it's we not go. Not a save. Not a save. Hey, hey, oh, not a save. save. Yeah. That's well, it's the same thing because it's only a negative one. Yeah, he's not proficient in it, so it's not like he's okay. getting any extra advantage. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, you managed to actually get it nice and uh, deep into the tunnel there. Yeah, nice and deep. Goblin's actually. Uh, Startled, and he goes to uh, check the sudden uh, noise. So he is going down this here cave to explore it a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Do we see anything now that we're about this far in? Like yeah. Another goblin this far or? in, so you do see um, further back, there is a little uh, puddle of water back there. Like right here? Yeah. Okay. Are, are these just... giant like stalagmites or tights? One of those, the bottom ones. <laughs> yeah, the ones that are the Yeah. They're so like slow. we'd be able to kind of hide behind them and wait to ambush them. I mean, well, I mean you can go take other? a look at them. You can go. Yeah, take use a look them for cover is more what I'm thinking of. Yeah. You should investigate them, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Sure, we I'll we investigate them. Uh, so going closer, you actually find. Another ogre there sleeping. <laughs> Ooh, and what appears yeah. to be like a little bed bedding area here, like big <laughs> enough for both of the ogres to sleep in. Like, oh, God. You could assassinate an ogre stealthily. Wait, are the ogres married? <laughs> Just shove like a giant. Can we roll an in insight real quick? <laughs> can, I, can I see anything uh -huh. over here by that puddle? Uh, you see that it's a cavern that's leading uh, down more, more uh, downward into that area. Like here? So. Uh, I was, I was looking more just like right here. So yeah, just right here. Ogres. I mean, not ogres, goblins. I really don't want to fight more than two ogres. Not gonna lie. That's your limit. <laughs> I didn't want to fight <laughs> two. You can only handle two ogres. There's a lot less of us. Than one. <laughs> Mine's is like half. All right, bring in the dragon. All right, so anyway, um, I uh, put my hand on a uh, Edric's uh, hand that's on my shoulder. I tap okay. it a couple times, kind of hoping that he gets the signal. Um, what is, is what, even is what, what could that possibly mean? <laughs> like you tapping my hand when we're invisible? Are you going to try to kill this? Uh, this he ogre? turns to you yeah. in confusion, oh. and you cannot see the look on his face because you are both <laughs> invisible. <laughs> Well, he had said Edric that once makes we got further look, in, he was going can't. to message. <laughs> oh, he said okay. once we got further in, he was yeah. going to message everybody outside. Well, we're directly next to a sleeping thing. 
Yeah, so let's kind so of move. Move, maybe. We could even move here, maybe. That might be. Also, this here goblin's starting to uh, come back out, so. Sad. It's hoping that work a little longer, but. Um, yeah, if we got over here, we could probably send another one, I assume. Okay. We start heading that way. Yeah, we should kind of get in here, see if this looks relatively clear right there, and send a message, and then wait for the, uh, the attack. So, coming up to there, uh, you see that this area ends up being... So... Boy... <laughs> A minute ago. <laughs> you hear Four from minutes. this area as you get minute. closer the sound of uh, flapping wings, but you don't Why? really see what is uh, emitting God. that sound there. He's so <laughs> Flying <laughs> ogres! Uh, you see, like, a giant, like, a pit, though, in the center there. Uh, just sort of into a darkness that you can't really see into even with your dark vision and you see around it uh more ledges and such the leaves again about 10 feet up and on these ledges you can actually start seeing uh people around Jesus. them i thought those oh. were enemies for a second oh, yeah i was like yeah. oh my god oh, no. we're, we're, gone. we're leaving <laughs> we're sorry strong. we gotta go <laughs> literally let them have the town <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so, but I can see the people. Wait, what? There's humans yeah. in there? Yeah, there are some yeah. that look like humans. Wait, why are we uh, here? Some that could okay. be, you see what, could be a couple halflings and also a couple of tieflings there as well. Okay, oh. I'm going to cast message to this guy right here. This guy? Uh, from, yeah, from why afar. Because uh, he's in the middle of a group and... Oh. But there's That's one that looks good. different than the rest of them and has a different <laughs> yeah. border. Yeah, <laughs> you got like a either. crown on, you're like, eh, that, could be that guy. That doesn't look important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that could be anything. And I, like I, so I'm going to whisper uh, a message and say, are there any enemies in this immediate, uh, any enemies in this cave w or in this section with you? You can reply. Uh, so who are you, are you doing it to this guy here? I'm doing it to this guy. I'm sticking with it. Okay. He's, he's kind of in my line of sight, and he's. Uh, like he just Fair looks enough. around like, what the <laughs> hell is going on? Where the hell is that person <laughs> coming? Which from? one of you said that? Dear God. <laughs> I will fuck up. I will send him another message saying, "We are we are invisible nearby. We are here to help. Please please reply if there are any uh, <laughs> monsters or enemies in please this respond. Uh, section." Mm -hmm. Please don't ghost me. Yeah, Respond or seven years of bad luck. Uh, give me a persuasion roll, please. <laughs> oh, Lord. You got this. I survival Blood. instincts for nothing. <laughs> hey, your persuasion's great. Oh, hey. okay, there we go. Okay, yeah. that's not too bad. That'll My charisma's do. actually pretty high. Good. What? Is it just me, or are the numbers taking a while to load in? They yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. It could be it because fly. I have the 3D dice on. <laughs> 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 Some shadow enemies. <laughs> okay. Does he respond? So he just sort of like covers his hand over his mouth and he just uh, tries and whispers out into his hands here. There are no goblins in this area. Oh, neat. Okay, then. Uh, what if they are not friends? Well, we're gonna pray they are. <laughs> Hopefully they're the town people, but... That's kind of what why I wouldn't would... They I mean, like kind of implied up? here. Yeah, but why would they just be chilling there? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they ran in. They probably ran in out. here, got stuck, and then some ogres and some goblins chased them. I mean, them. it's dark. Can, can we yes. see any chains or shackles on them? You don't see any uh, chains or shackles on them. Uh, you just see that they uh, they kind of have they don't really have anything other than the clothing on their back, really though. So perfect. I mean, they He's don't necessarily alone. need to be chained up and shackled to be corralled into a cave. Well, if they don't have weapons, monsters. yeah, if they don't they have can't weapons, they can't harm us. All right. They also so now can't be, help us. Now would be a time to send yeah. a message to uh, uh, Quoner again. 
Um, so I'm going to cast message again, send it to Quoner. I am going to say, uh, we know there are at least two ogres and a, a four or five goblins, uh, possibly more, and we think we have located the townspeople. Okay. And you how well should... are you oh, yeah. being with? Oh, I mean, I'm going to whisper it. I'm still okay in the cave. <laughs> please relay doesn't, this message doesn't quickly message to Cantu. Only... <laughs> doesn't. <laughs> You're doesn't message only oh the person that you whisper to, like that you send the message to? I mean, I still have to speak, though. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, you don't. Message isn't out loud. Yeah, I thought message was like. It, it says you like point your finger towards a creature and whisper a message. So. Yeah, you can whisper. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah only whispering. you can hear. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're good. It's not. Like oh, that. that only you can hear. Yeah. Well, that's it. That yeah. Yeah. Well, that's here, not. And yeah. that's if you. That's if you reply. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So okay. he sends that, and then and then he kind of ends it with, uh, "You guys should attack from the front, and we will flank as soon as you're noticed, or something along those lines." Ooh. <laughs> Quoner, uh replies with a confirmation, and then relays the message to the rest of the group. While staring at Cantum. Were there Let's any go. immediate and en- okay. Before we hop in, <laughs> can I <laughs> Can I roll what? my Bardic for my uh of Spirits thing, my uh what's it called? My spiritual focus? Tells us from oh, yeah. beyond. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I gotta find my one D six real quick. There it is. Alright. Um okay. We just do that, and that way yeah. I don't have to use action. <laughs> Ooh, that's a six. Okay. Yeah, you got a six, you said? Yeah, so tell the traveler, the target gains temporary hit points equal to a roll of your bardic inspiration die, plus your level. While well, it has these temporary hit points, the target's walking speed increased by 10 feet and gains a plus one. Alright, so I'll just hold it for now, Jesus. like I'll, I'll use it as a cast later. Okay. I think I can hold it for until my long rest, correct? Yes. Yeah, so I'll just hold it for now. I gotta Do we know if there's now. any enemies, like, immediately in the cave? Did they relay no, the message didn't. to us? No, that was not relayed. Okay. We just know they're in there. Okay. We just know Contum... quantities of each. Nobody instructed Contum to be stealthy, so he is, he's no. just going to run in. I no. Will, yeah, I, will, I wasn't instructed to be stealthy. <laughs> so, no. Kantu's just going in first. Oh my god. Yes. We're following him. We're, yeah. we're, we're going to find him. He told. He told. You told me that they said to attack. He's. That's what he's yeah, doing. We're fine, baby. Yeah, there was no uh, mention of stealth. I'm not going to let you go in by yourself. Okay. That's the wrong. Uh, wrong icon, icon. By the way. Also, oh, yeah, it's his old sorry. one. I will... You got, this is gonna take, like, legit hours. This is gonna be an entire campaign if we start a battle. <laughs> I'm okay, okay with that. No. Well, what else are I we supposed give... to do? Just be like, never mind, let's spread east. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's kind of the you point. You guys yeah. didn't... You Did anyone, like, explore the area around? Well, no, I didn't. I guess no. we were just... Uh, it's fine. Yeah, we're good. No, I just played with Bean. I had fun yeah. with Bean. I made shadow puppets on the floor for Cantum to swing at. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fucking... most wholesome thing I've heard. I made shadow puppets for. You, you helped with his like... battle anxiety. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> battle anxiety. <laughs> we all get it. Okay. We've all been um, there. And then there's Serafina, who's like, kill people. Sure, I guess. So yeah, we're just gonna sit here and you know wait until obviously something some commotion. We, yeah, until we <laughs> okay. see okay, yeah. Tomb, and then I'm gonna. St- I actually am gonna be right where you're at now. Yeah. Because I kind of want to try and sneak up on that goblin as soon as I can. What that one? Yep. Yeah. I. C- I'd be like I, I'm like still Hi. basically touching your shoulder, and I like whisper, "I'll take out this one." And I. <laughs> And I guess I whisper are we, back. I'll take. Are we ready? One. Yeah, I'm Nothing ready. See where we're pointing. Okay, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah. So how are we? How are you all going in here? Uh, I want to look at Gumdum, and I'm okay. right behind 
Contum. I guess Gum Gum will just like, be by me. I'm just like somewhere over here. I would really like to persuade them not to like kill us because the people aren't. Well, we don't know that. I guess. I mean, Never mind. Never mind. Um. Good luck ex persuading Oops, ogres not, to, not to kill us. Uh, True enough. You yeah. Give me a. Another persuasion roll here, real quick, uh, Connie. Just to see oh. if you can persuade Gum Gum to go into the cave with you. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Mm. Uh, I do have a plus yes, one though, so, to uh, know. Let's fucking go. How much? I'll just roll. Up. You know what we had to gain from Gum Gum coming in the cave with us. Maybe First they'll see him and go, cat. "Oh, these are the good guys." Fucking twenty-eight, yo. 28. Yeah, they'll see the they'll see yeah, the, the chained up goblin. Yeah, uh, what do you say? Uh, I ask Gum Gum to come in with us and tell him that I will try to keep him as safe as possible. Try. And, well, yeah, I, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, I, will. I will save the people and us before. Wow. Yeah, I would love to save Gum Gum, but don't get wow. me wrong. Come with me, Gum Gum. Let's kill your whole family. Yeah. Well, no, I also want to say, I was about to say, I would love to. You should have. Have to hurt oh, your he'll friends, be a hero. so help me help you, <laughs> you and your friends. You should have persuaded him to like wait with the horses help me first to help or something. You. Help me to help I mean, me so to he doesn't run away. If you want me to? I can do that. That's fine. He doesn't have to go in with us. <laughs> that would be a the slaughter player better. character. Come yeah, on. I was say, go. No, I'm I'm sorry. Fine. No, yeah, no. Would your character no, have him come in or not? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> That's my thing. Is I don't know if Gum if Gum Gum looks reluctant to go in, then no, I'm not going to force him to go in. I mean, he does look a little hesitant that he doesn't really want to... Then go. let him stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. By the horses, Well, he'll fine. just stay by the horses? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. There's okay. one less person to worry about. I swear if he steals the horses. will stay with the horses. <laughs> <laughs> he, he does enjoy to be, uh, enjoys petting the one that you guys oh! are riding on. Aww. We can't, yeah, he's staying there. If he dies, I'm killing myself. I don't know why you ever wanted him to come in. <laughs> it's decided. <laughs> Okay. All right. So he's still right. Wait, they're not oh going to spare God. us just because we have a goblin prisoner. No, I didn't. Yeah. Know, yeah. But if listen, anything, they would hate us more. Like, yeah, I, I don't to want to hurt <laughs> as much as I can, like avoid hurting other beings and like creatures. Yeah. I will. So, <laughs> but anyways, let's go. Let's go kill some I, fucking you, ogres. My <laughs> for you, if you're the language. weaker bird, then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm stronger in wisdom and mentality. Wait, I know I, that I all beans deserve life, out of the, the grave. but not in vitality, <laughs> okay. that's for sure. Wait, I have uh, a question. So you guys are going to go question, into though. this cave. Uh, uh, yeah, Katoon, a you have a uh, torch lit up, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I <laughs> Can I torch. see that torch? It does like you, you do start seeing a uh, source of light coming in, so... Oh, God. Can I sneak <laughs> up on this goblin over here, then? Ooh. Which one? Before this we all one. start coming. Uh, you're going to yeah. give me an athletics check to see if you can get up to that. Uh, oh, that's level. true. Athletics. The one thing my character is not good at. <laughs> yeah, the mage. <laughs> 19. Oh, 19. Oh, nice. uh, you managed to <laughs> just yeah, feel like a nice yes, leap. Son. Uh, you managed to like, get up this like American Ninja Warrior style. You know, oh, the wall not skip like that. Awesome. Little running start. <laughs> just climb up. <laughs> Grab the top there and just pull yourself up. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> now so we're up on this put, ledge here yeah. behind this goblin. Yep, and then I want to put my hand around his mouth and slit his throat with my sickle. Oh, you're gonna go? Okay, you're going for it. Old hearted. Oh, yeah. Uh, give me a, a attack roll with advantage. Cool. Uh, 16. Nice. <laughs> Not bad. bad. Nice. And, and that would be five damage there, it says. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so I, just, I, I saw the light, and I was like, my character's like, okay, it's time to go. It's go yeah, time. In. Show so time. You, you, to... So you take your sickle and uh, slice it across the oh, throat. Oh, wait, crap. That's not all the damage it does. Oh, wait, yeah, maybe it is. No, you just rolled a one for damage, according to the thing. Hey, you rolled a one plus four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But that is your okay. base minimum damage you can do with that weapon. Take your uh, blade and uh, fly it across the throat there. And the goblin just cries out. Ah! 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 Why well, my hand over its mouth? 
That's why I said I put my hand over its mouth and do it. It yeah, bites we'll your start. hand. Oh. It squeals <laughs> and no, wait, it squeals it. well against your hand <laughs> while it starts to thrash. It even uh, ends up throwing its bow in the ground. It gets the attention of uh, this goblin here who turns around to see you. Meanwhile, these goblins and this ogre here all see the cantoon coming with this light. <laughs> so, uh, let's, get, let's get ready to combat yes, sir. Mortal hey. Kombat hey. Hello sure fellow select, creatures uh, Select oh, your right. token one. Yeah baby I, yes. so I, have token. I have selected my token Hello to fellow creatures so, <laughs> Are you ready to die? die? <laughs> It rolled eight. Holy shit! Team is so fucking happy. Um, <laughs> he said that, and then he rolled a nat twenty. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm coming. He's fucking ready. He just has yeah. he just has Edward slobber just dripping from his now. mouth. Like, he's, he's ready to kill. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> hey, don't make fun of Contoon for wanting to. Murder some He's just ogre. very bloodthirsty. Where I'm very indifferent about. The no, fight. he wants to save the people, and these, in his yeah. eyes, these are the people that took them from their town. So he, mm -hmm. he really is mad at That's them. That's fair. I know. Yep. I feel that my <sighs> character doesn't think that way, but you know. Nice, good music. There you go. Ooh. Nice. Nice. I like it. Very very nice battle music. music. What's your three battle music? We're coming in! I like how you were the least ready to fight there, Serafina, even though you're already studying so much. You rolled a nap one. Let's go! <laughs> I, yeah, let me change that. I just accidentally didn't select it uh, at first, so let me change mine in the order, because then I rolled an eight after I selected my token. Oh, yeah. I changed it, though, don't worry. Here's it back to my original. <laughs> Not You're like, I, I wasn't really better. ready. <laughs> I didn't want to go first Jeez, anyway. Rolling all no, no, over. see, the thing is, I already went first, so I was like, I guess uh, I gotta give everybody else <laughs> I can't go first again. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally, totally. Yeah, okay, so yeah. up first in the order is, uh, Gantoon. Alright. Surprising. He sprinted in uh, first. So, hmm. I get to this ogre in the bath i can uh just to let you know that the mud there is going to count as difficult terrain if you were to try and go through it so it will take you what some extra movement so. to go yeah through I, I can i can walk around it with me though uh as it is right now i think like i can go to this uh this square here Okay. Wait, no. This square here. Okay. So, you guys are gonna see why Cantum was so excited to fight. <laughs> in, in his experience uh, in fighting, and uh, he, he has uh, pleased an entity which has allowed him to um, transform into a shark man. Before oh he attacks. Whoa! Things. Um, so in this case, in this case, um, in this situation, he will grow a giant shark tail um, that just comes out of his back and oh. sits on the floor behind him. His eyes glow red, and he shouts, "I thirst for your blood." <laughs> oh. And oh uh, hurries, man. Oh, he runs up it's there. Time to Wait, no, you no. that. Did you I, yell that? I feel like they should make a. Oh yeah, uh, he screamed that. Oh man! A, a check to see if they <laughs> run away oh, scared. Come on. come on, they have the to be terrified. Intimidation is gonna be awesome. Yeah. Well, he, don't worry. The all the other one he has uh, makes his head turn into a shark head, but <laughs> it doesn't really make sense to use that shark right head? now. Shark head? Yeah, but shark head. Bite him. <laughs> shark tail. Um. No. It's so. A good movie. <laughs> So, uh, he enters Rage, and he, uh, oops, I didn't mean to Your put that in the chat. And he pr oh. he hey, we, prepares we want, we to want maul, <laughs> and he swings his maul at this, uh, bathing ogre. 
Okay. Roll to 19. Attack. 19. All right. Dang, you do that much damage. Dude, man. That hits. 10 damage. Nice. Great start. You come up Great and you start. just wing it Wall. into his stomach and he just, like, man, like, just back. Like, flops back into the uh, mud there. <laughs> from your hit. Go, dude. Of, do you get the strength of a shark? Is that Take that, foul creature. <laughs> take that, you ugly bitch. <laughs> Anything else? I teach you to take a mud bath. <laughs> well, You're nope, I shark. already used my bonus action, my movement, and my action, so... Okay. Um... Yeah, well, then, sir, the tail crazy. just gives me an AC bonus. You can turn. also attack with it <laughs> if I want. You can oh, spring weird. off the tail uh, to dodge? That's insane. No. That's, yeah. Oh, you could use a reaction to swipe it to uh, uh, push something away from you when it's attacking so you. Good. Tail whip. Uh, did did Seraphina kill this person or is it still alive? It is still alive. Sad. It doesn't want it to threw be, its weapon. but it is. It threw its weapon <laughs> down and is trying to scream well, as I hold it. Well, it threw its We're kind of discovered already because Contum just yelled. So, well, yeah, they're, um, they're discovered they, here. I mean, well, yeah, they don't know who you're yeah, but, hasn't yeah. looked it up yet. I, I'm, Edric isn't as concerned with him, so he's going to use his movement and go... Is this... Is the thing he's on like a level surface or no? Or like? Yeah, it... he's still on a level surface. It's just more like uh, it's just it's a wet wetter there, surface. So... Yeah, okay. So um, you are definitely gonna leave some like foot taps as you that, cross there. That's fine. I'm I going to snipe this guy over here. This. I wanted to just get a little like more out of the way. So yeah, <laughs> he's gonna end up here. I think that's less than thirty feet still. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna end there. And I'm going to cast Scorching Ray on this good sir here. Um, so that is three rays individually. Um, I'm going to have two of them attack him. I, I can direct them like magic missile, essentially. Okay. Um, whoops, I did not mean to actually roll it, but <laughs> I guess. You fired. <laughs> you fired. Uh, so that <laughs> is one of the attack rolls. Because at each one, I have to roll a ranged spell attack, uh, and they do 2d6 each. So each one does 2d6, and it yes. says three of them? Yes. So... Wow. Okay. So you're sending two to this guy, you said? Yeah. Wow. So that's, that is the first damage of the first attack. Uh, um, so... So... Okay, roll me the... Nine. And what's the third one going to? Uh, it's it's going to help out him. Okay. So give me two more. So with a twenty-four, that's gonna hit for all three of them. So give me the other two attack rolls. Yeah. You only roll for one, or one for three ball, three targets. Correct. No, wow. I roll for each. Each one is a oh, each. Ball pack. Okay. Yeah. So like, it... another twenty-three. It looks like nice. Uh, so that one hits too. So the second damage. one is six damage. So nine and six on that boy, and then this last yonder goblin. Yonder. Twelve. Let's see if that hits. That does not. I'd be surprised if that hits. Mm -hmm. Benji, does that hit? Goblin. Okay. Uh, so the last one you said was this one here. Third one does not hit, but the first that. two hit this one, and he just ends up, like, being so burned as you alive. Throw them, you just see him just become burned alive. His, like, whole entire chest is charred, and he just, does like, that uh, light up the cave? Like, down how, like, how light is that? <laughs> oh, that'll probably make quite it's a bit like of light. It's like a nice little yeah. spark right there. So okay. Like a firework. Of course, you, are no no longer, you two are now no longer invisible since you both yes. attacked. Yes, that is indeed mm. true. Yep, so... Back it was up. worth it. That is yeah. one bad goblin. Scorching Ray is <laughs> awesome, though. 
Um, I, DM, Who's uh, the burnt goblin? Yep. Should I... Okay, so you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I forgot that rage adds uh, plus two melee damage with oh. uh, strength weapons, so I actually did 12 damage to the ogre. That's fine. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. He's dead. I should have right. gotten enlarged slash... <laughs> no uh, shot, the ogre has 12 health. <laughs> right? We didn't Mark know, but he's bathing because he's, like, healing. You, you never know. know. Healing. I mean, that's there's a, a chance that that plus bath. two, like, could have made him knock out and he drowns in the mud bath. I don't know, yeah. maybe. Um, Bill, imagine how scary your character would be if I got enlarged and then made you larger, and then you also oh my do God. another D4 of damage. Yes. <laughs> that would be it's amazing. only for like a minute, though, so... A giant That's pretty shark. good, though. A minute. But yeah, you'd, how <laughs> terrifying your character would be. Dude, that would be horrible. Strong, horrifying, dude. Right? Yeah. Maybe next yeah, spell. You're right. <laughs> yeah, Anything so that'd else? be like quite right. a bit. <laughs> nope, that'll be it. Yeah. Okay. Eat it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here's... Wait, I have a question. How high is this part right here? Uh, wait, uh, on, which part? Let me Where? select my tool. This part. Okay, so the ledges surrounding the cave that the goblins are on are 10 feet up. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Arcane Weapon onto my dagger uh, with lightning in it. So that's uh, two spell slots remaining. And then after that, I'm going to move my character. Hold on, let me measure real quick. I'm going to show my ruler too, so you can see. I'm going to go over here, then like turn. I'm going to head right here. Uh, okay, and what type of damage did you say you would uh, use? You uh, light, lightning. Lightning? Okay. Yeah. On your dagger. And Okay. And then I throw the dagger at this goblin up here. Okay. Ooh. Uh, give me a attack roll with dexterity. Let's see right there. Uh, uh, I don't know how to do both an attack and a de dexterity combination, so I'm just going to do them both separately. Not a save. It would. Yeah. Uh, Wait, wrong what did I... Oh, sorry, wrong wrong one. Wrong dexterity. Still bad. Wait, but I have... A, one of my feats is lucky. So can I use a luck point to redo that roll? Give me one more. When did you get a feat? Well, I, uh, okay, so first... Okay, give me a roll with the... Dagger... Aren't but we're changing, like, the strength to dexterity for the modifier there. That's what we're essentially doing. Uh, okay, yeah. so do I just so I just roll dagger here? Yeah, and we okay. can do this. It should okay. be the same. It should be a plus four. What? Okay. Plus two. Yeah, they're both the same, so 23. Yeah, that, that'll hit there. So then you, you rolled a three for damage. Uh, also then give me a 1d6 for the lightning damage. Okay then, so slash R uh, d6. That's how you do water, it, right? I'll be back Okay, in a cool. Okay. So another 3 damage. Okay. Cool. So. And it returns to you. That's and it returns to me too. Yeah, that's what I was... I really want to get that. plus one, so that's actually going to be a total of seven damage. Nice. Very good. So, you throw this uh, dagger, enchanted with the lightning, and it goes and it hits the uh, goblin there. And you see it just sort of like shake and convulse. And then it sort of like gets tugged with the dagger as it starts to come back. And that just has it a uh, full face down as well. Another goblin dead. Oh yo, that was, that nice. was awesome. That was a great use of a turn. Okay, I'm done now. So I have anything else I can do? Goblins I thought you were are kind of wimpy. Why did we capture yeah. him? Because <laughs> uh, he's adorable. You want to fight me about it? 
Okay, yeah. so that's it. Goblins Eighty. are very weak. Yeah, All that's right, it. Fight. I'm done. Okay. The next Don't one is actually fight. No, I, I'm not. We I got won't. his turns <laughs> here, so let's see. He could be useful. Well. I am back. Welcome back. back. Perfect. It's not your turn. A goblin <laughs> yeah, I, is dead. I know. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. That's the only thing that's happened. So. What about that dagger, right? Continue. Yeah. This here goblin uh, up here is going to be shooting at you with an arrow. Gonna curve the arrow around the fucking colossal ogre. <laughs> oh god, no! It's a little He's got on. high ground. What's the roll? It's over. It's over, Contum. I have the high ground. <laughs> Nat twenty. All right. <laughs> he fires it into the wind, and it blows around and hits directly. <laughs> it's a very drafty cave. Uh, this yeah. goblin just like pulls back the. Like just, like just takes the arrow out and just fires it all in one smooth motion, and you just see it just go past the uh, ogre here and just hits you dead on into your uh, left shoulder there, oh. dealing ten damage. Dang. Okay, I have um, I'm gonna use a reaction, stones endurance. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna try and reduce that damage. Well, if you're rage, you already take half. Yeah, I was you? like, yeah, I was like, yeah. if you're rage, you already. Oh, take it's half. Oh, it's yeah. half piercing. So it would only be five then. And then I reduce it by five, so there's zero damage taken. You just Damn. you do not okay. consent to the arrow. <laughs> I just yeah. I no. just the arrow just breaks on a rock on my no, forehead. No, as he no, so as it comes, so as it's just about to hit you. Uh, it just suddenly shatters as it actually hits you. Like the tip shatters off. <laughs> my tail just swings. My tail just swings up and smacks the arrow down. <laughs> no, no. And this is, this is after the goblin did like a backflip and then shot the arrow in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's too soon to take damage from this battle. <laughs> no, bad no. goblin. <laughs> no. Okay. Well met, uh, my goblin foe. This goblin's turn, and it's going to be <laughs> firing its uh, arrow at you there, uh, Edith. Oh, no. Oh. I was going to say, Contum, he's going to be like, yeah, this one will work, right? <laughs> <laughs> that that arrow was probably just That's made, a... you know, in China. So, it is a 14. What is your AC? Uh, my AC is... Hold on. Fourteen. Ooh. Okay, Can't that, that hits. Or not. Okay. Oh, it hits. I'm pretty sure. Oh man. Yeah. So that does. If it, hit. if it meets, it beats. Mm. Ah, that helps. I'm yeah, sorry. it's got a nice rhyme just for that reason. What did you say? If it meets, it beats. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. If it beats its meats, wait. <laughs> wait a second. That doesn't sound right. Uh, <laughs> wait a second. Be- okay, so. Uh, the. So, this Gavin also pulls out another arrow. This time he actually. Uh, looks like he aims it a little bit before releasing it. And th- as your back is turned facing the other goblin that you just killed with your uh, with your dagger there, it comes and hits you in the back there for eight damage. Eight? Eight. Dang! Yeah. Backstab. Instant death. <laughs> what is up with these goblins getting, like, crits? <laughs> Sniper I mean, goblins. Was that wasn't the other a way. <laughs> that was just a high damage. That roll. was just a regular damage, yeah. Yeah. No. 
Six plus two or yep. something. Okay. Uh, Quoner, your turn. Yeah. That's me. He doesn't have to climb, he can fly. Mm. Maybe we can throw some stalactites down on him. <laughs> Yo, who the fuck is mixing a drink on Discord? <laughs> oh no, that's our water bottle. <laughs> oh. Our right. little whiskey. Water from the little... water bottle. And yeah. The and, <laughs> and the ice fell out, so I was putting it back in. <laughs> <laughs> On the rocks, please. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't know uh, you guys could hear that. Yes. Yes, yeah, so I'll right, take a goblin think. roasted, not stirred. <laughs> <laughs> roasted. Get it? Because he burned one to death. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't need explained. <laughs> All right. I think Cloner is going to, um, well, grumble a little bit about the hastiness of this, and then take flight and move up to here, and then up to here, and um. Basically, claw the fuck out of this goblin. Yeah. Uh, roll to yeah, attack. Boy. It will be an arm strike plus another arm strike. Let me see. Oh, who joined? Nice. Finally, he's here. Oh. Is the grape? Oh, grape. Oh, grape. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Grape! Yeah. Grape! in the order. Okay, so first attack hits. Second attack. That doesn't kill, does it? First one does not kill, no. Okay, second attack. Okay. So with your first attack, you just sort of like slash him across his... Uh, his chip. You just sort of slash across in there with your talons, or face. like, what the? <laughs> then you just throw Freaky up mouse? it in midair there. Freaky mouse, a, uh, midair bird what? kick, kicking him off the ledge, and uh, killing him there. Nice. The fabled double flying jump kick. Ooh. <laughs> Crazy monk. Uh, I noticed Utava's. I don't see him in the turn order, so I don't think you rolled initiative for him. Uh, nope. That's an uh, easy uh, remedy. Nah. Yeah. He's Select here. token, roll initiative. <laughs> if it's high enough, you um, just go next. I guess we're distracted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, oh wait. yeah. Wait, we're fighting. <laughs> <laughs> we're fighting right now. Oh yeah. Okay. We're in a okay. cave. Thing I remember. Like, I got kicked in the head by a with the people and goblins in it, and there's ogres. Those big things. Oh, what the fuck. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Man, what the fuck happened here? Think. We could have done this. Don't, don't, dude, Wait. I don't... I don't think... I don't think I'm ready for uh, this mentally, great. the guy. I, I need bad. something from you. I need to know, would you rather get a bonus to fighting with one weapon or two weapons? Two weapons. Two better than one. Yeah. Do you even okay. have two weapons? Do you have two? <laughs> Two melee weapons. Uh, that's a, oh, that's, melee weapons. I like mean, new melee weapons. Like a I mean, sword yeah, yeah. I, I have, I have a dagger. I, you have I two? Get two daggers. Hey? Okay. So you want a bonus to two melee weapons then? Two, yeah, two melee weapons. Okay. I'll just loot everyone here until I find a melee weapon when they oh when God. they all die inevitably. What? Do you have two daggers or one? Uh, yes, I can yeah. always just pick one up. This is okay. that's an investment for the later. Anyways, Utah. Roll initiative. Uh, yeah, you gotta roll. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look on your character, your icon thingy. Yeah, yeah. Your yeah, icon's I gotta down here. My character sheet again. Well, make sure to click on your character first before you click initiative. Something to click on. 16. Not bad. Holy shit. You did not click on your character. Yeah. No, he did. He did. It's on he there. Did. It's, it's on the bottom. Oh, okay. bottom. 
Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Lit. I guess he goes next then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. oh, um, what the fuck? Yeah. We're Mr. Overman. Okay. Uh, someone quickly run me down. What the fuck is going on? Why are we in? Oh, we're in goblins battle. killing them. In. This is where uh, the, is the, the okay. cave where the goblins and the people from the town are. Yeah, me, me and Serafina went invisible, explored the cave, found the people in the back, or what we think are the people, and. Yeah. Uh, we found humans. And halflings. <laughs> and then basically made a pincer attack, uh, us attacking the back and them attacking from the front. Yeah. And then so, yeah. Cantum okay. ran in and he became half of a shark and uh, he sucker punched an ogre. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. He can transform into a shark now. Oh, fucking lit. Oh, a right, shark I'm moving. Right <laughs> I'm moving. Why are you all the right way up now? there? Great, great. Yeah. It's not your turn yet. Oh, it, it is, is his turn. turn. Okay. It is his turn. Oh, it is his turn. Well, it, Technically, it's still Quoner's turn. Oh, oh right. I thought Quoner yeah. finished. Yeah. Um, I okay. mean, I don't have anything else to do, I don't think. I was just like, technically, like you're still the first person to turn order at the moment. Ginger I mean, needs to move uh, Grape up to where you're at. Yeah. No, also. it can stay. We can just count it as... Well, if he doesn't move him in the turn order, then he's just going to stay randomly in the turn order. Yeah, he put him there. Okay. We're good. Okay, there. Okay, yeah, cool. You're just gonna be cool, after cool. corner here, okay? Yep. When we get back to the top of the round, he'll reorder it. Mm. Yeah, okay. Physics intense. Yeah, so, Leonard, are you doing anything else? Nope. Okay. All right, now it's your turn. Go. I did my duty. Alright, move right I here. Alright, let's see. Let me just do this. So. What? Wait, what's up? Um. Give me one second, I can't read. That's gonna be really hard to do anything, man. Um, yeah, I'll um, say. Ooh. I give you Bardic. I give. Uh. uh I give Cantum Bardic Inspiration. I think. Wow. Do I I wow. still have that? Yeah, I think I do. Well, I still have that? <laughs> Did you change classes? <laughs> <laughs> no, I... I so, no, no, okay. Cause like Wait, after, so what is Bardic? It gives you an extra... 1d6. 1d6, and then, uh, a, like, okay. I try to shoot the this this uh, fat thing. I don't know what it's called. It's called an ogre. It's an ogre, yeah. It's an ogre. Oh, it's an ogre, okay. This fat thing that ogre. looks like my mom. Wait, how do you give Cantum Bardic first, though? So. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I give him a thumbs up and, you know, finger guns. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, you're doing it, man. Cantum, Cantum sees this and he, he just, he just like, looks over at Utava, like, raises <laughs> one eyebrow as his, like, jaws are just dripping as he's just attacking this <laughs> ogre. Just raises one eyebrow and simply goes, uh... Thanks, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I feel inspired. <laughs> now you feel inspired. All right, um... Oh, inspired yeah. to shark, be a giant shark. All right, all right. And then I try to use my light crossbow, which I think should be this. There we go. Wow, Nineteen. nice. Cool. That definitely gets fed. Got it. Eight. Uh, yeah, ten piercing eight. damage already. Plus two. Oh, was, no, plus it already. Two. You already out. rolled an oh, eight. Yeah. Oh, my bad. No. Okay. Yeah, you're, the bottom number there where it says piercing. That's your damage. Yeah. Also, okay. wait till the DM tells you you hit to roll damage. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and um, who did you say you were attacking again? Uh, the, the big ogre. This ogre. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So you go in, uh, roll. So uh, you come into the cave, you, uh, shoot off your crossbow there. Bolt hits it, dealing that 10 damage there. Nice. Alright, I end my turn. 22 damage to this fool. Anything else? Uh, I I said I ended my turn. Okay. 
Well, now it's the uh, ogre's turn. <clears throat> so, after getting a... Uh, getting hit here a couple of times. Just a few. This your ogre. Yeah. There's the you there. And him. And he takes out this uh, club that's been uh, in the mud there with him. And he swings it towards you. And what is your AC? It's um, 13, but I can also tail swipe him with a reaction to roll okay. a D8 and, and a, add a bonus. Dang. Okay, so roll that D8 then. So Ooh. that gives my AC 18. He rode a, a dirty 20 for the attack. Damn. Uh, dang. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> what the heck was well, that? Well, <laughs> he cried. <laughs> Uh, sad. Uh, no, Fucking sad. Kind of <laughs> Sorry. I <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Okay, so... This ogre, he brings his club around with swing it towards you. Um, you try to bring up your tail to try and... Flap away the club, but unfortunately, it's just too much, and it gets you right in the stomach like he, like you did to him earlier, dealing seven damage. <laughs> just like you did to him. It's a blunt, or it's a bludgeoning. Bludgeoning. Yeah. So I have resistance to bludgeoning and rage. So is it um, three or uh, resistance? Uh, resistance halves damage. Yeah, uh, rounded down. Round up or round up, okay. So, yeah, that would be three. Woo! Ouch. You hit my tummy. Does Cantum say that? Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you hit my tummy. <laughs> that was terrifying. That's terrifying. <laughs> Really fucking funny. Is that a demon in there? Are you gonna have a tummy? <laughs> <laughs> ah. He doesn't care. You hit him like. in the stomach, and he's just like, "I want to hit you harder." Don't like. Yeah. <laughs> oh. and Mayella just chilling here. Right. Wait, where's Gum Gum? Me, me too. I. I uh, oh, gotta the horses. Horses. He's petting the um, horses. He's petting the horses. Spree. Okay, your turn. Good. Uh, okay, so I am probably gonna have to run in there. Let's see how far I can go real quick. Is the goblin I attack ev attacked ever gonna go? <laughs> he, didn't he already go? Oh, I, he did. I think I took He's him out of order. Let's just see. <laughs> You, you cut him across the neck. I say at this point he's booted out. <laughs> he's going yeah, last. Okay. He's, he's bled out. He's <laughs> bled out. He's uh, not having a he's good just, day. He's kind of I'm going to move up the wing, uh, Edith and Nutava. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to... Uh, these two are dead. So yeah, I will... On the ogre. Actually, I might have to... Okay. Do I see any like metal? Is the ogre wearing anything that's metal on him, or uh, um, this is club? Is he holding anything that's metal by chance? No, he's not. Uh, oh, sorry. Just ignore that one. Just ignore it. <laughs> he is very much uh, just Related. a. He's taking a bath. Wearing like uh, a cloth and stuff. The armor like... that he's wearing seems to be like cloth and stuff. Okay, all right. Like maybe uh, some leather. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. He is wearing clothes while he takes a bath. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Ew. Mud ogre, I guess. He doesn't give a crap. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I guess I will... Um, I'm is 
35. Oh, cool. I can walk another step forward. And then get him in my range, I think. Yeah, he's in range, but so is Cantum. Shit. Thunder wave. Uh, I would just hurt both. Wait, didn't we have this problem before? Well, okay, so you're in... The thing is, you are in range. Like, I would hit, have to hit you no matter where... Like, yeah, you're, oh, right. actually, you're just like, like right in front of him for me. You're actually so, in the line of fire there. Yeah, so like I, there's, I would have to hit him, but instead, I, I think I'll just do a do a bane, and I think that is, yeah, that's not a cone or anything. That's just me attacking. Okay, so I'll, I'll do bane. I'll cast bane on him. Okay. So, and actually. I can do it uh, up to three creatures at 30 feet. I think he's the only one I can hit. Yeah, he's the only one I can hit. Oh, ooh. You can't hit that one. I can hit, I'll, I'll hit both since I can do up to three. I'll hit both with Bane. Um, so they will have to make charisma saving throws. And okay. then whenever a target that fails the saving throw makes an attack roll, or a saving throw before the spell ends, the target must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from the attack roll or saving throw. Okay. And nice. what's the, uh, what's the saving? Spell save? Yeah. Uh, uh, save DC is a 15. Yeah, they both fail. Cool. So they both have oh, to roll man. the 1d4 with every attack. You said correct? Yes. And yeah, how long uh, does it last? Each, it's a minute long concentration for me, up to a minute. So, okay. uh, each of their... Yeah, okay, yep. Just a minute. Gotcha. How many rounds and, is a minute? Uh, ten. 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 Oh, yo. And then Six I Six seconds per round. That's an action. Let me check. Uh, I think that's it. I'll just call it done there. There? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mayela, your turn. Okay, so the ogre is closest to Contum. Can I, like, see him? Is he in my line of sight from where I'm standing? Uh, yes, he is. Okay, so I want to start with steady aim, which is my bonus action, but I can only use it if I don't walk. Okay. Um, so I'm going to start with that. Do I do anything special for that, or is it just there? Um, you just say you're gonna use it and it's there. Okay. And then I'm gonna use my short bow. Uh... Whoa! Net 20! Hey. Oh. Good Critical rolls hit. tonight, y'all! Holy yeah. shit! What? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Um. Yeah, ignore that second one. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, ignore Please. the second one. Please ignore the second one. Please ignore the second one. It was a misclick! Please, misclick. Nice. How advantage works is that it just still takes a higher at the two rolls. So because you give the <laughs> uh, twenty there, still hits the uh, roll for damage. Click on but the I short bow. Uh, Come on, full of the roll. On. No. Yeah. Look on at the roll. roll that you made, and then click on the word short bow. Thank you. There you go. Come on. Oh. That I, I don't know double damage. Twenty-four. Holy crap. Nice. Yeah, because she's great. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's go. fucking kill this dude. <laughs> yeah. Is he dead? We've done, no, we've done 36 damage to him. I doubt right he's Right into yet. the jugular. Yeah. You. Probably not, yeah. You, like, just look I... down your bow, let out a beef breath, and just let it go. Where do you want this arrow to hit? Um, preferably <laughs> right between the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's it. Shot. One brain shot. To the brain. One kill. <laughs> so I mean, it, it actually hits it in its left eye there. Oh. oh okay. Uh, the bullseye. And you Partly just blinded, see at least. Reel back his head and scream out in great agony from that. Oh, and, yeah. uh, Fearon will also get disadvantage on its attacks rolls from that. Let's fucking go. Nice. It's still alive. 
But he's blinded in his left side, he's, he's so... He's a big dude. Target is that... Yeah. Target be alive for a hot. Yeah, he's Ogres a big dude. have a lot of health. Yeah, and he's large I'm worried about charge. that goblin in the back. Like, that goblin in the back, he's That's chilling. Okay. He, he seems devious. <laughs> uh, so that'll be the end of your turn there. Okay. Oh. Uh, Seraphina, your turn. Ah, yes, back to the top of the order. <laughs> Yay. Anyway, uh, I am going to cast Hex on on this ogre, the one that we've been attacking. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, which, you know, until the spell ends, I deal an extra 1d6 necrotic damage to the target whenever I hit it with an attack. Um, I also choose one ability when I cast the spell. The target has disadvantage on all ability checks made with the chosen ability. Uh, and, you know, just to really make him very disadvantaged, I'm going to choose all strength checks. All strength checks get disadvantage, you say? All strength ability checks, correct. Okay. So anything with strength is at a disadvantage. On which guy? This one. Oh, okay. Because I can switch sense. it once it, Once he dies, I can switch it. If he dies, he dies. Uh, and then, you know, you know what we got to do. Eldritch There's blast. only one thing to do. El- mm. uh, yep, Eldritch, Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. Yeah, blast him, baby. Blast that Eldritch. <laughs> yeah, I'm really hoping my Eldritch Blasts are feeling Bless good Blast that Eldritch out of the sky. Oh. Well, first out of the sun. cave. <laughs> yeah, that one. There we go. That's going to be pretty hard. Just blast him into the mud. Make him drown. I hold his uh, head up. Nat 20. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh my god. 16 damage. Did you, did, did you do max it's... damage too? <laughs> Yeah, it's but I haven't weird. even rolled my D6. Oh my so lord. So that's 32. Two oh, mat 20s dude. on this poor fo- fellow that's in a row. Yeah, 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 which I rolled oh. the worst. Uh, that's my fine. bad. 30 yeah, damage. damage um, so, mods, they're aimbotting. What? Mods, hello? <laughs> 33. Mod, absolute aimbot. <laughs> <laughs> Reported? Reported? Axe. So how do you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Whatever yeah, way is him dying. Anything. He just says under her breath, Eldritch Blast. Yeah, <laughs> like this. How, how does this, like, you don't uh, want anything, like, special as you hit this guy? Oh, it's just going to hit its uh, it just head explodes and hopefully explodes in evil. And he whispered. <laughs> just I will Eldritch Blast it. It's face and the, if it's dead, face explodes. So it face. Can, okay, so yeah, so you shoot your blast there, and it just is like the biggest blast you have sent out yet. And it actually like it's gives you like some recoil there. Oh, and you wow. just see it go straight at this guy and just pelt him in the face. See his head go back. And when it comes back, the skin from the face is completely gone. Oh, oh, like even the nasty. eyes are burnt out. It's just a just a skull face there that's left. Contum like yeah, looks yeah, over at God. Seraphina, somewhat terrified. Like, what the <laughs> hell was that? What the fuck are you, dude? What the hell was that? Uh, is it? Oh, uh, can I move my curse then to the other one? Okay. And now it has disadvantage on strength checks. The other ogre. <laughs> okay. And um, that'll end my turn. So, I think this ogre enough. comes out a bit. It oh. sees what happened to its companion. Like roars in like what sounds like grief and agony. Immediately, like, looks around <laughs> and immediately, like, spots, like, uh, Cantoon here since you're the closest one to him. And it has, like, a javelin in its hand that it's gonna throw at you. Ooh, Ooh is that a strength check? That's a dexterity, unfortunately. That's uh, throwing his dexterity. Well, also, well, also, not all dexterity. Mine, uh, D4, because he failed that charisma earlier. Yep. 
I'm getting that then. <laughs> I thought javelins were strength, not dex, even if thrown. Uh, uh, I guess right. mine mine is strength on my character sheet. Yeah, it was sheet. like I I'm pretty javelins. sure javelins are strength even when thrown. Very certain when you throw a weapon like uh, a weapon that can be thrown, it, it is using uh, dexterity, right? Um, I Google it. I've, yeah, I'm like I'm googling. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Dude, javelins use strength. A javelin is a simple one-handed melee weapon. In Using strength weapon. instead of dexterity, yeah. A javelin is a heavy thrown Oh, because it's heavy. Can yeah. Throw it in yeah. Range attacks using mm -hmm. strength instead of dex. So it's a strength. So it gets disadvantage. This poor, poor ogre. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's poor E. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Wait, that's 4E? I, I, well, the one I, I looked up was 5E. Oh, okay, okay. good. The one I looked at they initially was 4E. probably the same. I somehow, doubt they changed but, that. I mean, you never know. That makes they're, sense that throwing, like, heavy things is strength. Like, if I threw a yeah. boulder, yeah. that wouldn't yeah. be yeah. dex. Yeah, so, it's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a weird yeah. thing, because it could definitely go either way. It so, says melee weapons in 5E that have the thrown property only yeah. use strength. Like hand axe, really? javelin, well, light. Well, it, it depends. Yeah, right. It uses the same modifier as it does with the attack roll. So if it has the finesse property, you can use dexterity. With that. Correct. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Because throwing, I was thinking throwing knives. Those would be dexterity. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and two, you are actually prepared this time for the javelin. So as it comes, you just. Spin and tail whack it out of the air there. Boom. Free javelin. <laughs> he whacks the, the javelin down and he looks at the other ogre and goes, <laughs> You're next. <laughs> Great. Because it's your turn. Reach looks scared as fuck. <laughs> so, um. I mean, I'm basically gonna... just hearing this across the cave, right? right? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna run yeah, right up to her. You don't even this. see what's going on, probably. I don't see, I'm just. What, what the, the fuck? fuck is this demon? Mm. Fuck is up with Cantu, bro? <laughs> Dude is cracked. <laughs> um, so like he's just gonna, gonna run up to her and take a swing with the mall. Roll to attack. Twenty-two. Yep. Uh. So, like, with the first one, you just take a swing and hit her right in the stomach. And then, uh... I think that's all I can do. So okay. it does 13, 13 damage, because it's going to add the 2 for rage. Okay. Very Edric. Uh... Well, I'm going to take out the ranged person because, well, one, I mean, they're, he's kind of in the way, and two, I gotta go over here anyway. Uh, get a little better angle, and then attack Mr. Uh, Ledge Man. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna do regular fire bolts so I don't use any other things, because they kind of seem like they got everything else, and nothing would be incredibly useful, so. Let's see here. 19. All right. Okay. And you go for seven. So you shoot your uh, fire bolt at this goblin, and it gets nice. knocked down. Dead. Get dead. Yo, dude. You only got the ogre left. Yeah. Yep. Anything um, else? Well, I maybe. guess <laughs> if I... Let's see. I moved from here to here, right? Um, I got a little more movement, so I'd probably try to get the angle on the the ogre. I mean, can I see him like, relatively easily through the middle of this stuff? Like, you can, like... like yeah, third. you you should be able to see, you see them, uh... Like, they're like, starting... Well, they're starting to move out of there as well, so pretty soon they will have, like, half cover. Okay, so if I just kind of moved over here... I'd you, probably you'll be able to good. see them better, yeah. Okay, I'll just move over yonder then, and end my turn. Okay. Edith. Um, 
I think I'm, I'm gonna be a bit risky. I'm gonna like here. Hold on, let me turn on my ruler. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna run around as far as I can uh, to right about here, and then I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the ogre. Sorry, not not the ogre. The uh, goblin. Okay. Where um, I threw, I just threw my dagger at him. Okay. So, uh, so roll to attack. There you go. Ooh. 23. Good, 23. Five. It hits. Some good Jesus. rolls, y'all. And it's, it still has the lightning on it, too. So that's a d6, right? Yes. Okay. So. So mm. nine damage. Okay. Not, not nothing. It's not that bad. So you throw your uh, dagger again. Uh, it hits the side of its arm. You can see it like uh, react a bit to the shock there. The uh, and then your dagger returns to you. Cool. Okay, I don't think I have any other bonus actions that I can do. I was I was I wanted to heal myself, but I don't think that's a bonus action. So. I think my turn's done. Okay. Boner, your turn. Hey. Alright. Well, Boner, seeing that the ogre immediately in front of him is no longer breathing, <laughs> will fly over to this one. Okay. And... I'm going to do this. So I have... A key meter. Anyway, um, Cloner is going to attempt to claw its face off, and yeah, pretty straightforward. I'm probably going to use Flurry of Blows. Well, to attack? Assuming it, assuming it doesn't die with the first attack, I guess. So I don't think it's going to die with the first attack. <laughs> so your first attack misses. All right. Anyway, flurry of blows makes me use a key point, and then I get two more unarmed strikes. Nice. Okay. Dang. Oh, nice. Both of them hit, so that'll be six. Uh... Sixty-nine, yo. <laughs> Sort of, but separate. That'll be a total of 15 right there. God, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> and good. Once again, I don't have a weapon. I'm just clawing the shit out of yeah, everything. Yeah, you're just clawing. <laughs> it seems to work. <laughs> claw, claw. Claw, so You claw. just go with like a... Waka, waka, waka! <laughs> and just start clawing at this giant thing here. <laughs> Turn into a Jackie Chan movie. Uh, Utava. Let's see what you got. Yeah, yeah, I got this thing. Maybe I'm. <laughs> Where am I? I don't know. I had to hurt you. Uh. Uh. That, yeah, yeah, I can. I can do this. You want to get close to the ogre? <laughs> Nope. <laughs> I want to. Your approach. Oh, shit. Can I shoot the ogre from here? Yeah. You should be. Okay. Able to yeah. Okay. Good. Just me. I'm just going to shoot it. Okay. Oh wow. Uh, you shoot it with the bolt, dealing ten damage. That's wicked. Anything else? That's it. Uh, yeah. I don't think Utava's ever missed a crossbow shot except for the one where he hit me. <laughs> yeah, that one was on purpose, by the way. <laughs> okay, Prime, you blamed it on turn? him. Though. Okay, um, let's see. I think this time I'll get up next. Yeah. 
once again, though, I... That... I think, actually, I think I can get, like... Can I get, like, right, uh... Can I stand, like, right here? Sure. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move up to here. That way, um... Oh, no, they're still in... Damn it. I still have movement, though. 20... If I go up here, actually... Let me check real quick. Yeah, that's my movement, and then I can do... Yeah, cool. I will move up all the way to here. That's all my movement. And then I will use my um, Thunder Wave. And they are not in that range. So... Um, what is it? Thunder Wave? Yeah, what's the range for Thunder Wave? Uh, it's from myself, 15 feet. Uh, and they are just maybe... out of it. Oh no, damn it. Corner is... Because it's a cube, right? Cube? It's like a cube from me. Okay. From then, self. uh, no, corner would be out of the range then. It perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought. Alright, perfect. Then I will go ahead and cast Thunder Wave on him. And, uh, it's a constitution saving throw. Okay. And then on a failed save, he will take 2d8 thunder damage. And is pushed 10 feet away from me. If it's successful, half as much and isn't pushed. Fails. Perfect. Roll for damage. Eight. Five, ten. Ten damage? Yep. And okay. he's pushed ten feet away, I guess. Push him, um, push him into me. Cantu, can you give me a dexterity roll here real quick? He just on. falls on Cantu. Uh, well, no, he fall, like, diagonal. Come on. Oh, my god. You leap out okay, away? Cantu. You, uh, see that this <laughs> thunder wave is coming. So you may yeah, yeah, yeah. dodge out of the way oh, while nice. this year Sorry. over gets pushed back. <laughs> Cantu mm. <laughs> doesn't care. Street, dude, <laughs> this is kind of precarious. I'm, I'm, I'm closer than I want to be. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I should have uh, cast that as a second level. Damn, missed opportunity. Okay. That's unfortunate. Um, and then that was my action. And then I think as a bonus action, can I use my tails? No, I can't do that. Never mind. Uh, that will be it. Okay. Uh, okay. Mayela, your turn. Alright, um, I'm going to shoot him. Snipe him again. Aww. Uh, uh, so close, Blink. but your shot ends up missing. <laughs> mm. okay. How'd you miss that? I don't fucking know, okay? Can I use a bonus action of Master of Tactics and offer help to um, Kintum since he's so close to the ogre? Um, it, they would have to be within 30 feet of you, so... Oh, shit. Mm. I forgot yeah. about that. Oh, oh, no, I, I no he's 40. You can take your movement, too, yeah. though. You can move Wait, and then you can move. move. Oh, you can move. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna move like, right here. And then okay. I wanna do my bonus action. Cause that's, no, that puts you at 25. Action. That's, can you yeah. drop it in the chat what it is? So, yeah. So basically, you get advantage on your next attack roll there. Master of Tactics. Jeez. Yep. Just in case he targets you, since you're so close. I guess Edith's kind of close to him now, too, but he's looking at you, so. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> nope, that's it. Okay. Seraphina. Can you kill this? Well, uh, probably not. But, we can try. <laughs> That's for sure. Mm. Uh, Ooh, Ooh, what the heck? A second? Yeah, what the heck? Let's go! Matt, what is going on here? Thank you! And then the let fun? me roll my D6. Hang on, hang on, before you do anything else, I am right coming to look at right your computer and see if you got a freaking bot or anything on there. <laughs> 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 Where do I get bots? 
<laughs> That's <laughs> probably the most technologically illiterate at this game. <laughs> probably. <laughs> That's check. wild. Your As someone who's been reading, like, during other people's turn, people are like, ah, oh, we're just in a fight. <laughs> Jeez. Like, how many nat, just... nat 20s is that now? That's, like, at least two? Two, two for me. The have been hit by three. But, um, yeah. Uh, so that's they, uh... a total of 34 damage. Yeah, it's my... dead. It's dead. <laughs> no, yeah. no. Yeah, baby! I, I do want to say, um, my Thunder Wave does emit a very, very loud sound. Once again. Just in case. Uh, anything else that's anything in the game heard uh, yeah. So, this yeah. you hear from, like, the, uh... From the, uh, upper... Like, uh, northeastern part of the cave here. Like, some flapping of wings and such during the fight. After the thunder wave, but it seems to have stopped now. Mm. It be <laughs> it's a dragon. Mm. I'm gonna be. roll I a guess, to okay. deuce dragon. dragon I'm gonna have some ogres just chilling in front of its flare. Right. I'm gonna mm. walk over here and I'm gonna kind of see if I can get a better look and see what the ogres had on them if they had like anything. I'm gonna go check on the townspeople. Same. I will go <laughs> uh, they they're probably they're 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 uh, I'm just gonna loot yeah. up. I need another weapon. Uh, I'm gonna check um, too. I more just wanted to know. I want to make sure they're dead. I know the one's dead for sure. But the other one, since its head didn't explode like the other one, I was like, it's I dead. gotta make sure it's dead. I didn't check the it's rest dead. of the cave, so... What are you, a doctor? There could be, like, other parts of the cave that have other ogres. Yeah, there's problems. very much a lot of this unexplored. Um, True. Ken, Ken Tomb is following them up up to the... Uh, yeah. Uh, before uh, the... Uh, before we do people. that, uh, shall we take a brief... Uh, shall we do a brief break right here? Sure. Yeah, I'm down. Sure. Okay. okay. Sure. Yeah. Sounds good. Water. Okay. Where's okay. my headphone? Okay. Now, uh, Rape, before you go, just me to talk to you here real quick. Yep. So, You're in trouble. No, it's oh, just uh -oh. something uh, I just noticed here about your character is that you actually get to have proficiency with one more skill, so. Ooh. Ooh. Not in trouble. Yeah. Ooh. No, it's just something that. The opposite. Yeah. Skill. Cool. So, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, go. Uh, I'm gonna go get food. So just uh, grab a. So choose a skill to be proficient in. It can be any skill. Mm. Mm. Skills are like. Oh, yeah, yeah. I uh. Performance, I guess. Okay. Nice. And with that, uh, you also get a... Now, with your level up, you also got an expertise bonus, meaning that two of the skills that you're proficient in, you get to now be uh, get expertise, meaning that instead of just having your standard proficiency, it is instead doubled for that. So, which of the two skills from animal handling, investigation, performance, and survival would you want to have expertise in? Uh, investigation and animal handling. Definitely. Investigation and animal handling? Okay, I'll take care of them here. That's all. You... Yeah. See you all back in a few minutes. I am now a detective. Animal. Wait, You're God an animal intended. detective? Nice. Also, guys, sorry for taking all the glory on those dogs. It's fine. Yeah, I'm just happy they're dead. Also, the fight was supposed goes... to be a lot harder. Yeah, Seraphina but it worked out really well. It was like, hey, that's a cool ability, your shark ability. <laughs> your shark tail. <laughs> yeah, um... Kintum says, um, thanks, uh, I, I wouldn't call your ability cool, more, um, concerning, but it, it did the job. That's all you can ask for. <laughs>
Wait till you see my race ability that I didn't even get a chance to use. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that's a that's a scary one. It's a me. I'm a back. -a. Welcome back, Sir Edric. Good to be back. -a. Oh, by the way, uh, Sir Edric from Serafino. Hey, way to kill those nice goblins. I mean, what, nice? Nice way to kill those goblins. Oh. There we go. Uh, well, yeah. it, it went pretty smoothly, all things considered. I'm yeah. playing the role of an a of of a hey, I'm back. of a passed out nice. man very well. <laughs> I have certainly. zero idea what's going on or why we're here. Uh, well, Utah, you know why we're here. You were you were in the last session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. You oh, told wait, us really? about your dream about killing that dragon. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, you guys yeah. want to hear about the? You want to hear about the dragon? Art? No. Oh. Well, can you tell what? me what dragon you fought in your dream? Blue eyes, white dragon. <laughs> nope. 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 I'm good. So you summoned Obelisk the Tormentor, obviously. No, oh. I summoned Pot of Greed to draw. Uh, also, one more hijack. thing, Grape. Yes. You get to learn a new spell. Oh, oh. Mm. And you have access to level two spells now, so. Oh my God! Woo! Not that Major! your charisma really helps you. <laughs> it helped me. Not his charisma. His Wait, charisma I'm, helped I'm, me. Negative charisma, baby. Hmm. So, okay. Uh, so, did people already loot the ogres, or? There was nothing on the ogres. Ah, oh, man, that's lame. There was a giant javelin that was thrown that you might be able to get, but I don't think you have the strength to carry it. I'm not going to try. I mean, you could try taking them great clubs if you want. Nah, um, I'm good. I I have some weapons and stuff. I'm good. I'm like, I think only Cantum could really hold a great club. Can I think I... How, how much does it weigh? I'm gonna try. At least seven, maybe eight. Possibly <laughs> nine. Possibly. Nine maybe. what, huh? What are the yes. units? Hmm. Yes. Sons. Who's your science teacher? Hmm? Nine. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> nine. Well, let's stop there. The last time someone said that. They were German. That was the last time someone said that. Yeah, oh. uh, literally just means Friggin', no. there's a lot of German people, great. Yeah, there's a lot of German people. All of the goblins were German. No! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh that's not... They mm. haven't even started using the gas right. yet. Wait. That's why we killed them. You can't say that. It's mean. You're hurting Me and German Me and Frederick already, uh... Confirm that German. there were people back there. Yeah, you, you told you told. I mean, I, I guess I just told them that there were. We found a section with people in them, and I mean, I, I suppose you could probably figure out as I'm walking towards there that they might were be there. You, were you able to determine the religious affiliation of all the people? Um, we mostly were a little wor more worried about the goblins and ogres first. Okay, didn't talk okay. to them too much. Circling back to the German thing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh no! So to answer your question, uh, nine. <laughs> nine indeed. <laughs> Bro, bear me. How many freaking nat twenty are you gonna hit today? Like God. <laughs> I suspect at least Ooh. two more before the session ends. Bots, he's literally spinning. In but hand. guys, Ooh. but Ooh, guys, don't forget, I good. did roll, I did roll a nat one for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> didn't hurt you too much. <laughs> it didn't hurt me at all. 
Exactly. I got that nice sneak yeah, attack in first. 20s and 1 on initiative roll don't do anything special, right? Uh, well, they put you back 20... in the back. Yeah, nat 20s put you up front unless someone else rolls a nat 20 as well. That's why. Uh, guess user and Cantoon were first in line to attack. Even though uh, Sir Edric has less speed uh, initiative than uh, someone else who rolled a 21. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and a nat one would put me last, even if with my modifier, say, like, someone else rolled, like, a, like, they rolled a two with no modifier, and I rolled a three, but I rolled really a nat one. But, like, my total with modifiers of three, I still go after the person who rolled a two. I almost got, um, joined a school, a magic that allowed me to add my intelligence to my, um, initiative. I'm like, that'd be really nice. <laughs> huh. But this What's other school I'm in there, now is uh, a lot great. nicer. The loot, Le Lute, obviously. Yeah, but like, what song is he playing? I'm back, are sorry. We... I was gonna say, are we all back? Uh, okay, roll call. Great. <laughs> yes. Bear meat. Here. Pants. Yeah. Uncle Bill. <laughs> Muted. Present. Cheaty okay. Connie. Uh, here for sure. Guest user. Yep. Fancy feast. Hello. And EO. Hello. Presente. Okay, we're all here. So, you're going to the villages. Yes. Hello. I was like, who joined? Oh, it's Hydra. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally every time I'm going to say hello. Hello. I so, every remote. time you say that, I'm just imagining Maple. Hydra! <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to check on check. all the people in the cave. And if we hear this before, clapping, before can I look go. up? Uh, you look I'm sorry, up. that was me. As you enter the cave, you look up. You see nothing on the ceiling there, though. Can I look down? <laughs> you look down. There's like a dark hole in there. Yeah, no it's very meeting? much narrow. You can't really see to the sides of it, but you do see like a lot of what appears to be droppings in the bottom there. Gross. Yeah. But there's nothing above flapping. Dear God. No. Oh God. Why is there invisible? It's bad. I'm walking up, but I'm not going with them yet because I, I see this opening over here. Is this a ledge or like a, a wall, it, or can I climb up on this? Uh, what are you asking about? Uh, like, um, sorry, my fingers are all popcorny. Like this little spot here was yeah, that that's actually fine. like? Oh, okay. So that that's all solid ground. Like, okay, the goes around where the people are like a little higher. The area here is definitely lower. Wait, Can the I people use my night are vision high. To see, like, How? Down in here first. They're, like, they're on ledges above. Yeah, I was just joking. I'm kidding. Well, they're on I guess I'm lines. gonna like, not like shout, but you know, normal voice to one of the nearby ones. Are you the people from uh, the nearby village? Uh, was it Nightstone? I think. Nightstone. Yes. Uh, so this I guy right. That. So this dwarf here, right here. Like, he puts his finger to his lips and, like, motions for you to, like, quiet down a bit. Oh, that's foreboding. I use yes. message as what's going on. <laughs> yes, we are the people of Nightstone. Did Lady Nandar send you? Um, oh, she must have. Not exactly. <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean any. I, 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 I was too uh, busy about other stuff, too. Listen, buddy, yeah, she's dead. You. I'm not going to Don't say that yet. Wait, wait. No. It is very also, nice Kava to see. Also, Kava doesn't know that, right? Yeah, nobody, so nobody but Cantum yeah, and Kava know. Oh, yeah, really? they didn't yeah. tell us, so we don't oh, know. Shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I think I did. I think I did tell everyone but Kava. Oh, yeah. 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 Everyone but Kava said the lady is dead. Ooh, Tava we is the only ignorant say that. one. That makes sense. Top cop 19. Tava doesn't know. Yeah, because he was dead the whole time. to tell the other guys. 
Can I see down this hallway that so, I'm at before I walk up there? Why are we being uh, you quiet? Look down, uh, real quick, sorry. Uh, so, Mariela, you look down, you see that the hallway is uh, winding a bit there. It does like seem to like go down a bit, ramp down a bit. Uh, you can't really see too far in it, though, due to like the curves and such of it. Alright, I see no danger, so I'm coming up this way. Okay. Huh. Looks good to me. Bye! <laughs> Bye! Bye. Um, I'm not going there by myself. Well, I'm going to kind of continue my conversation, but much quieter now with the guy. Well, uh, I do believe Gantoon was about to ask. Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. Go ahead. He said, so why are we being quiet? Oh, yeah. That works. <laughs> in he a, shouts in a, it. No, it's in a quiet <laughs> voice, but it's really, uh, admittedly yeah. not. Why are we whispering? whispering? Gantoon <laughs> is not really capable of talking extremely quietly. So, <laughs> he looks... Uh, the dwarf looks down into the hole, and he goes, Bats. 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 That's it? Bats. bats? I'm not afraid bats. of bats. No, bats, no, no, no. bats like as in bats, plural, though. or bat as in big bat? <laughs> plural. Yeah. Okay. All right. But still, Ooh, big bats are alarm. Small bats. Well, then I'm going to... Uh, Throw a bomb him, in the hole. Take your people. We've cleared out the goblins in the front of the cave and exit immediately. Oh, uh, there's a goblin. I'll say this quietly. There's a goblin outside. <laughs> Don't worry. He's no danger. He's chill. Don't worry. <laughs> He's <laughs> also chained up. He would oh, yeah. not probably be able to hurt you if he wanted to. I hear well, the chain to the part. Yeah, uh, yeah, he, he, I did he chain sort of <laughs> takes a sigh of relief. That's good to hear. Uh, Can I guys? whisper? I, oh, uh, I was like, we don't. I don't think we want to just send them out and be like, "All right, right? see you later." Like, well, we need to take them back. Here. Let us leave this place so we can us. discuss what has happened. Are the I was gonna dead? ask. The ogres are dead. Yes. No. Uh, th let's discuss this somewhere else. If you're so afraid of the dead bats. <laughs> okay. If the ogres are dead, and everything else, they we can come with you. He, like, quickly goes around, starts going around to the other townspeople, letting him know that they're, you're all about to leave. Mm. Is there anyone injured? Uh, I am. There are a few people that do appear <laughs> yes, injured. Yes, it's me. Uh, from <laughs> the... Like, from, like, either the attack, there do seem to be some people that look injured, but, like, they can still walk. Okay. Hmm. Since I'm at the back of the pack, I'll turn around and kind of lead the way out. I'm going to follow with my Ella. Just to Kintum's, make sure. Katoom's bringing up the rear. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll bring up the rear as well. I'll just kind of form I'll in with the crowd. Okay. I'm just gonna... Mostly this way, two people with a dark vision are up front and kind of looking to make sure nothing else pops out at us. Yeah, I don't want anything to pop I out while the ask, villagers are coming with. Um, if he knows how many ogres there were, just because, in case. So I'd like to talk to the dwarf quietly, very quietly, whispering. But That's like, say question, it actually. like, say it like more confidently. Like there were two ogres, right? So like, he no, because then, because then, no, 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 just ask how many were yeah. there. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna ask him, hey, uh, how many ogres and goblins did you see? Were there many? There should have only been two ogres. Okay. Why, did you sure. only see one? No, we saw two. We killed two. Just this is why sure. I was saying it like that. Well, listen, but <laughs> if he said there was lying. three, if there was three, then I would be like, okay, we oh, got fuck. them all. Well, no, I'd be like, we got them all. Message everyone. Go. <laughs> or we fucked up. We <laughs> the elusive stealth ogre just, you know. Uh, he's still in one of the bad caves <laughs> that we can't see. We haven't explored. I don't even think they could fit in any of those caves. Uh, maybe not, yeah. An okay. ogre drops from the ceiling. <laughs> drop Boss there. music starts. Drop ogre. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay. As I'm walking so, out, what happens, I've got. DM? Never mind. I'll wait. No, go ahead. I was gonna say, I have Thieves' Camp, which, like, shows me, like, symbols and anything of, like, like loot nearby, as well as, like, bad things happening, like, Whoa. enemies and stuff. So is there, like, any symbols in the cave uh, that I've noticed? You've noticed really nothing of, like, that to sort of indicate. Um, 
that there are people that there's sort of hidden loot in here or anything right now. There's no loot, damn it. Okay. About other enemies. Does she notice any uh, symbols for that? Yeah. Like I said, uh, you what? don't really notice anything else in the parts of okay. the cave that you did. Why would you make any symbols <laughs> to denote where, you know, the, the backup ogres are staying? <laughs> no, no, I just have these camp which will like let me know if there's if this is like a bad area, if there's enemies, but also if there's loot. You so, things, you know. Yeah, we communicate with each other. We look out for each other. So, I, mean, I just wanted to see. I had not necessarily been a cave ran by ogres previously. It could have been maybe a deep hideout yeah. or something. Anyway, all right, I'm just we're moving on now. Okay. So you're all gonna go. Uh, so you're all gonna be leading the uh, villagers out and back to the village this there. Village. No, yeah. not so well, I, I, I think we're gonna at least outside of the cave. Yeah, yeah, we're we gonna cannot go back to the village yet. That's true. We can still go horses. Not gonna go back to the village yet. Not yet. No. No. Not, not with right away. all the villagers, I guess. No. I wouldn't want. We're gonna to... try and arm them first. Or something. We're gonna give them okay. sticks. <laughs> well, we can just just leave the, the cave, cave for somewhere. now. Yeah, leave the yeah. cave and then we can talk. Okay, so we're walking out. Well, you're all we're walking out. Your out for outside the cave, we can just role play it. Yeah. Yeah. They're all uh, so they all follow you out there, and uh, they all actually begin starting their walk back to the village. Wait, Stop, we... I guess. Hold on, uh, everyone. Please wait. There were many people wanting to take your town over, including orcs. We should wait here for a moment. Including so we can the goblins you were just oppressed by. Yes. <laughs> Is there uh, a, a leader we could uh, talk to? He kind of like shouts out to no one in particular. <laughs> so the dwarf that you were talking to earlier, he comes up and like, I've been in charge of the people so far. Um, and look where that got them. Well, hello. Oh, my oh, name wow. is uh, Sir Edric. <laughs> oh, um, what, what Great job, Sir Edric. He's, he's really? just mad that the guy's just like not even caring about asking us what happened, just walking back to town. <laughs> like, what a dumbass. He's a sheep. <laughs> People. Please, sheep. we must go and see what Lady Nanda is doing. We worry about her. I know how she's doing. Oh, hmm. fuck. That's kind of morbid. Oh, Please, tell us. Is she all right? <laughs> so you say that and then just don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys Lady is or? okay, correct? I mean, it. Please let us know if she's injured or not. That's not important. Are you able to take back your town from a small army of orcs? Or elves, or bandits. What do you mean it does not matter? It's not important. If our leader is okay or not. Well, it certainly does um, matter. But it may not be of your initial most highest concern right now. Because we have yeah. quite a few other um, predicaments that you could arrive in. Coming back to your town. The bridge to the keep was broken, and there's no way anyone in there could get out into the village. That's so one one very, uh, very uncomfortable. And all of the orcs, um, orcs, orcs, orcs were bandits. attacking when we left. Yes. We would like to discuss with you ways for us to get you back safely, uh, and hopefully take back your village. We're not in the cave, by the way, sir. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, yeah. Oh, we're gonna be. Yeah, I we're like technically been. out now. We've we're all like, we're left. Like marching we're marching out. Outside oh, of it. It's just a lot of people, so we're. It's just visually looking at it. We're in the cave. Yeah, yeah. And that's okay. Um, Sorry, what was your name? Oh, uh, the door. Forgive me. <laughs> uh, name's Morak. So Morak. <sighs> Unfortunately, I met your leader. She was gravely wounded when I saw her with four of her guardsmen. She passed away, but her wish was that we come save you in order to keep the town. 
There are some complications in front of us, however, and if you want your town back, we will need to work together. Morak just sort of lays his head down and goes, That is grave news indeed. <laughs> Owner. But there is good news. We have done, at least done quite a bit of damage, if not, um, I mean, I would not say fully eradicated because we don't know that for sure, but we have at least done quite a bit of damage to some of the attacking forces, and who knows, maybe they have left. Okay. <laughs> he didn't say that with, I mean, he said that with full seriousness, but I mean, he didn't really <laughs> believe it. <laughs> okay. So what can you tell me about these orcs? Well, do you well, know why they would, or even these goblins? They know how to, to swim. Grab you? They know how to <laughs> swim. <laughs> they do, yeah. Listen, the walls, the walls have a hole in them around your town. The town was first taken by bandits. We deceived the bandits into thinking that we were their allies, and we took their horses and came here to save you. As we took the horses, the orcs attacked, and in close pursuit was a small army of elves. We do not know what happened after that. Elves, you say? Oh, they probably killed the orcs then. Those two, those two hate each other. Well, to be are, fair, there's, there's, no there's a no large way. number of orcs. Are, are you friendly with any nearby nations of elves? Uh, the elves around here normally just t tend to take stay with themselves, but That's the true. orcs, but the orcs around here tend to hunt the elves down, skin them for their ears. <coughs> but thus, they're more of enemies. <laughs> um. Well, I either way, they, saw elves, they were clearly hostile. retaliating against the orcs. Probably drove them to the village in the first place. Either way, the town is in no. No shape for you and your people to return. We must rest up, make camp, and arm ourselves before returning. Yes, that's this sounds quite, like quite a good, good idea. idea. <laughs> Get some more information, see if how many people are left in the town. I would advise that you and your people prepare for a fight. While you are doing so, we could scour the cave and see if there's any... Out. You cut out. Yeah, there, you cut yeah. out. Oh, I. While you, I suggest that you and your prepare for a fight, whether it be training yourselves or arming yourselves. While you are doing that, we could scour the cave and see if there's any supplies that will assist us. Well, you can always try and find the weapons that were taken from us by the uh, by the goblins. The yes, what? We can do that. Sounds yeah, good. Oh. That could make this uh, scenario a little bit easier. That seems important. Did you see which direction in the cave they went with your weapons, by chance? Oh, yeah. Um, no. After they took us into that area. <laughs> yes, they were but also no. Uh, no. <laughs> also, why is your town so popular? Why does every like, a nation want Everyone your town? Why do you think there's a big wall around it? <laughs> Well, Lady Nadar herself came from one of the families of Waterdeep. I don't know. I'm not familiar with that. Interesting. So tell me more. No, so very interesting. So Waterdeep is a very much known town, very much known for their uh, people in charge, as well as like being a huge trading center and such. So, How far is Waterdeep from She came from to the... this town. Nightstone. Good for you. How, how far is Waterdeep from this town? Uh, I would say from this town. I'm trying to think of the geography here. About a couple weeks by, like, okay. carriage. I'm just wondering if it's super so close by or anything. So, if it's, like, a huge trading town or, like, they have something to offer, what does Nightstone have to offer that makes it so popular? Women. Women? Well, <laughs> I'm women. not so certain. <laughs> Excellent. All we know is that we were just attacked by them giants. They took our the nightstone from inside our town. And then we fled to these caves where we were captured by the goblins living here. What is the nightstone? 
Yeah, I was gonna say, the... you live there, but you don't know what they want? No, it... We aren't sure about the significance about the stone itself, but we noticed that our town was built around it. Okay. It sort of stood there. Was there writing on the stone? Is it... Not what that is... we could really see. You don't Where's know the, the stone? lore around your own... It was... Night it was stone? there when we the town was built. I the guards see. had explained um, to uh, me it and said that the owner that it was just like a monolithic thing that was just there. Uh, cool. It was yeah. a mm. thing it of had root. value, but they weren't really sure how. <laughs> it's just <laughs> it one more of the ruins like around this monument. place. Yeah, mm. it's just okay. another part of the ruins here of the of the savage lands here. Okay, just asking. On to check in. Just curious what you know about your town. <laughs> Nothing. Pop big. quiz. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> you so failed. It's just enough. keeping you on your toes. So you will agree to set up camp here with our horses and wait for us to go through the cave and find weapons. We can wait a few hours for you, but I can't guarantee anything. Well, what would you oh. do? What are you gonna do to after a few weapon? hours? Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> you fucking leave, then go for it. We would like Man, to protect I would not you. Say that. that was my own personal I would, thoughts. I would like to say it out loud. Uh, we would like to protect you. There, we do not know what your town is like now that we have left it. It'd be best to wait until we are all ready to go, so that we can help you take it back if need be. Hey. Yeah, I think I'd like to persuade them <laughs> to stay. <laughs> that they will well, die. If they, yeah, they Let's try go. to take it back. All right. Persuade okay. them to wait. Come on, my lucky die. Eleven plus nine. That's uh twenty. Okay, eleven plus nine. That's twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yep. That's nine plus ten. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. <laughs> No, 11 plus 9? Wait. It's 9 plus, plus 10. 9 yeah. 21? Yeah, 21, okay. You assume so no, 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 it's 20. No, it is 20. Oh my gosh. Uh, 11 plus I'm 9. You're like, am I wrong? <laughs> I'm so dumb, thank you. It's fine, it's, li it's like 10 o'clock at night. It's fine. Look at you and just... Listen, I do understand and I do appreciate you. And like I said, we can wait a few hours here. But the but at the same time, the forest is definitely not safe for a night, and we probably would be better off taking our chances back at the town at that point. <laughs> Disagree. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you live in these woods? I'm sorry. No, Have you what? been you to the, the town recently? Like the forest. Have you fought twenty orcs in your town? No. Your town is, odds are, a three-way battlefield at the moment. I would not Literally. recommend waltzing yeah. in. Four-way battlefield. I have faith in the elves being able slaughter. to take care of them more. Well, well you have not seen the, the numbers of any of them. Take care of you. There was a third party there. Like I said, the elves don't really pay do. much mind to us. We tend to leave each other alone. But they haven't occupied your town before. Or... They don't really care about occupying the town. They prefer to live out here. I'm more worried Why about this their territory. I'm more worried about the uh, bandits that had come to take over your town. They really, really, really wanted your town. But so, do we, I mean, do we really I mean, think that those bandits were capable of holding their ground against? Well, the elves would have been there to help, orcs. so they're probably alive. Well, uh, there's probably more bandits. bandits. Probably alive. There could be more bandits, too, there you're right. More. Yeah, yeah exactly. they Another were a reason big... to not return to the town immediately without at least some supplies, training, weapons, or information, or all of them. Yeah, you should not return until your people are in good health and are armed. Do you even know... Do you know Otherwise, kind of it would bandits. be suicide. Do you know what kind of bandits took, came to our town? Uh, yeah, they did tell word us their, I can't they remember. Did tell us. They did tell us their name at one point. But Here, I have it written well, down somewhere. They told somewhere. us their affiliation. Yeah. Unpleasant yeah. ones. Uh, it is the Zentaru clan, right? 
Was it entire, or was that the? Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Zentaro clan. They oh, were from right. them. Part, yeah, Sounds I think that's enough. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I might have said they're it wrong. part of the black hand of whatever. They're they're bad. Spot on. They're from the Zentaro clan. Their leader. What's his face? Oh, oh you mean the Zentaro? <laughs> yes. Them. So that one. Uh, yes. Usually, you can try to make some sort of deal with those guys. Uh, usually they did try to yeah. offer us that gold. Yeah, yeah. but we uh, stole all their horses. And uh, <laughs> uh, I believe and I don't we're think beyond we're making back. deals. Uh, um, uh, listen. listen. This seems less Good negotiable luck. now. Okay. You know what? I don't even care. We're gonna look for your weapons. If you decide to march back to your town and die, so be it. At this point, Mayella right. is jumping in excitement, and she asks Screech to bring Gum Gum over here from the horses. Uh, yes. Oh, Bean too, please. <laughs> I go get Gum I'll Gum. Wait till, I was gonna say, I wait till Gum Gum's here. <laughs> Okay. Gum Gum's here. Okay. <laughs> brought him back real quick. Oh, I'll, uh, okay. I'll pretend that I was up here with you guys the whole time. Okay. okay. Um, I was at the entrance of the cave. Um, we should. I I talk to Screech and I say we should talk to Gum Gum about. I, I need to sit down with him. I I feel oh, bad. Yeah, his family, I, I think family he is need to literally sit down. dead in so, front of like, his eyes. He has, he's not even in. He doesn't know that everyone's dead. Yeah, so I talk. Again, I whisper to you. We're outside the cave. Yeah. Yeah, we're outside the cave, and I whisper to you like, hey. We should tell Gum Gum what happened in a very yeah. remorseful way, but yes. also see because we've given him his trust, we give him that we gave him that teddy bear, I believe. Early and I'm gonna on. give him some yeah, other the teddy um, bear. And any other oh, yeah, extra I loot that we find that nobody else wants, he can have if he could help us like navigate the cave. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. Yeah. Um, if he knows where the weapons would be hid, if he knows if there's any extra goblins or orcs, yeah, if he what knows else where here? any loot is. Anything, if he has any information for us, he should let us know now. So, and he'll yeah. be highly favored in um, at least yours and my regard yes. for any loot that we find. I look at me and I go, "Great plan, let's go." <laughs> and I want to go talk to Gum Gum. And, and when I say I have a very serious conversation, I mean very serious conversation. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. So, if you guys want to do anything before then, because I have some time. Know. Yeah. I mean, I, I want to grab the bean. Like, I'm, I'm worried for, okay. I'm I mean, worried for him, you know. I, I'm a hundred percent just chilling, okay. probably talking to Sir Edric, being like, "Good show, mate." <laughs> Good show. Okay, I'm well, playing. I go. So can I, I go talk down to, to the mouth of the cave and like, I grab the uh, bean real quick. Well, we're all here. I want to say something as Utava. I yeah, would. <laughs> Okay. Why Why did you guys not leave me in the town while I was knocked out? Oh, yeah, we should fill him in on, like, everything. No. What? You oh, uh, you wasn't in? knocked out. Yeah, yeah you no, weren't no, knocked out. Yeah, he wasn't knocked out. He got knocked out no, on a horse or something. No, no. no I'm, I'm asking, yeah, you like, had already what? gotten on a horse, Utava. Yeah, Are no, you no, no. I, I'm asking, why did you bring me with you? Well, I you, you weren't actually knocked out. I was gonna take yeah. over just to... Yeah. You weren't yeah. there. You rode over point. on the horse. You just your turn you was after the, the whole people. Way here. Yeah. No, no, like, 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 why, why am I still with you? Because you why could have died if you had be... stayed. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. You followed us. <laughs> yeah, like you, you were there for that part. Oh. You got on a horse. You chose to come with. What is the confusion? I right. could have ridden any any other direction. I mean, <laughs> but, I mean, my last no, group, the horse you know. really liked uh, Contum, so that horse would not have ridden too far away. No, he was on mm -hmm. a horse with the uh, Plus, yeah. Yeah. Oh, despite mm -hmm. our previous misgivings, you fought well there. And yeah, mm -hmm. you're still helpful. My last group, you know, they, they left me alone in the tavern. Because I wasn't useful to them. Oh. How do you guys find me? Well, well you are useful to us yeah. in that you sh sat bad guys. So good for you. You are just as important as anyone else here. 
You are you a being. You are your own person. Mm. Uh, we all have our qualms with each other, I'm sure. You are still welcome here. And he definitely has tried his best. And, and you, you know, have we have yet to effort. hear a good song from you. Certainly a reason to keep you around. <laughs> well, well, also, I I'd also like to point been... out that you've been trying to help us this whole time. You've not been trying to hurt us. For the most like part. You, you know, yeah, for the most part. Oh. Uh, I rephrase. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a reason. I'm sure that's perfect. As, okay, as uh, we, uh, I think we're going to have on, that uh, conversation with here. Gum Gum. Yeah, I want to talk to Gum Gum when I get the chance. Okay. That's allowed. So you see Gum Gum still on top of the horse. I want to. I, <laughs> I motion for Gum Gum to get down, and I sit next to him on the ground. I, I want to talk to him. I want to sit down. Okay. And I, I look at him and I say, Hey, Gum Gum, I, I gotta have a conversation with you. <laughs> Does he understand? He, he's looking at you. Alright, cool, cool. Okay. <laughs> so, Gum Gum, I know that you had family and I'm sure friends within your uh, other goblin ho in your home here in the cave. I'm assuming this is where you lived. Uh... And I just want to let you know that the goblins, at least the ones that we saw, uh, have been killed as they... And the, uh, is it ogres, right? Yep. Yeah, and the ogres uh, have also been killed. And I just want to let you know that I am sorry that it came to this. And that if those are your friends and family, that we had to kill them. Uh, and I understand if... You do not want to be here with us, but if you would like to stay, you are more than welcome to stay, and I will make sure that you stay safe with us. Um, and I think <laughs> I just want to look to him to see like how he's feeling after hearing, hearing that. You, after hearing "kill goblins," he like he like looks up. He's like big guys like going, "You kill Gum Gum? You going to kill? You kill Gum Gum?" I'm not gum going now? to kill you, Gum Gum. I don't want to. No kill I, Gum Gum. No kill Gum Gum. He, I'm he crying. <laughs> no kill gum gum. <laughs> okay. No kill gum gum. Are you, would you like to stay with us even though your home or your family or friends have even though we uh, have died by our hands? Genocide upon most of your species. <laughs> whoa, 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 no. When most you put it like that. Easy. Come on. Yeah. Admittedly, I don't know, I don't know how many goblins there are as a percentage. Yeah. I'll let you know right now, you're nowhere near close to a genocide. <laughs> Damn. No. Uh, just saying, let's start in terms of kills. Uh, so, I just, <laughs> I just want to like reaffirm Gum Gum that he's shown that he's been uh, he's not like many of the others that we have met. Uh, many of the other goblins goblins and want to make sure that he knows he's welcome to stay, at least in my eyes and maybe several others he's welcome to well, stay. Well, and I, who have been eavesdropping this whole time naturally, <laughs> step in, and um, in Goblin, I bow in front of him and I tell him that he has shown great respect towards us and um, has helped us in many ways, and we would like to help him in any way possible, whether that's he continue to stay with us and help us. Or, or we help, or, or we leave, and we leave the cave to him as long as we could get the weapons of the villagers, and like we won't go out of our way to loot yeah. the place. Yeah, let him have it. Yeah. Let him live here. Will pay Looks at you know, there for a moment, <clears throat> and he responds to her and goblin. Gum Gum just wants to go home. I asked Where? back in Goblin, is this is this home? Yes. And I asked, no. is it okay? No. Like, are we welcome here? I asked him back. Gum Gum just sort of looks over and get, and he just sort of shrugs. <laughs> um, I ask, 
if we, you could point us in the way of the villagers' weapons, we'll leave. Like, we'll just step out and leave. We'll let you be, and you can stay here at your home. Give me a persuasion roll. Persuasion? Oh. No, not gum gum. Who? Uh... Oh, no! oh, man! Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> what about me? I was also talking! <laughs> Okay. Go yeah. Ahead. yeah, please what help persuade. <laughs> if we just said we hated your species. 20, not Nat, not Nat, dirty 20. Dirty 20, okay. Combine the two. I just don't want him to think that we're like. I don't want to kill him. All right. So Gum Gum just. Contum is standing behind my and is just much. But he wants to kill Gum Gum. I know, and I'm giving it. De- I'm giving Kanji a very deadpan look as I, I give this whole cast, conversation. I will cast. I, I will. You will be hurt. I'm um, gonna just looks at you, Screech, and he goes, "Bass heart." What do you say? Bass heart. What does that mean? <laughs> what, yeah. Weapons, bass heart. Oh. Can you show us where bass heart is? No. No. So are we no. allowed to walk through your cave? None then? are useless. Ready's the hammer. No. We're talking. <laughs> literally stand up. In I will kill you. Between, in between Gum Gum and Cantum. And I would like to look down at uh, Gum Gum and I would like to ask, do you know where uh, what Bass Ark is? Bass Ark is. Gum Gum just sort of like looks away, silent, quiet. Understand, we killed this whole family. Anyways, <laughs> I could make him talk. I tell him to no. I tell him to go back in the cave and shut up. I respond to Gum Gum back in Brooklyn. No, you. And I, say, <laughs> and I say, like we would protect your life, Gum Gum. Um, is it? Are we at least allowed to walk around the cave and look around, and we'll be res- as respectful are we as we allowed? can? Well, I'm, I'm not. Like, I'm, I'm not asking for his respect. Damn it! I'm gonna just sort of shrugs again. Gum gum, Gums don't I'm, do this don't, shit. Gum gum, I'm gonna go through the cave. I'm going to find the villagers' belongings, and then we will leave, and you can live here and be in peace. That's probably a, a better course of action. Yeah, I, I'm telling. I'm gonna follow gonna, and make sure that we don't take anything. Live here to another day. Sorry it's just him, for so what we whatever, did he'll eventually to your die. family, Gum Gum. Uh, but that is what this is. I'm gonna follow closely and make sure that nobody loots anything that they shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the villagers' weapons we're here for. Yeah, I, I that's all I would have to take, anyways. I'm very much a loot goblin, and I'm restraining myself, so <laughs> everyone right, else can same. as well. Okay, goblin, you say. So I, I think I'll just like whatever Gumgum wants to do, he can do. I'll keep a close eye on him, make sure he doesn't cause trouble, you know, uh, like we just to make sure he doesn't like try to like cause any issues. And then I think I would, at least I would like to start exploring the cave a little bit. Yeah. Uh, um, to try to find the. Can we split off in groups of two? I wanted to loot the bodies first. Okay. okay. That's um, yeah, that's fine. I want to if one of the you were ogres. wanting to uh, split up into hey, that groups of two, two groups here, or whatever, where I think then this would have to be a place where we would stop for the night. Well, okay. yeah. it, it depends late. too. Like, yeah, it is fairly late. Right, we could do the groups of two, and that's where we start next time. We should okay. finish looting the main room first. Yeah. Though, yeah. So. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna loot this big fat ogre's body that I'm standing by. No, uh, I guess uh, the only thing they really had to loot would be their weapon, so... What is their, this guy? What is their weapon? Uh, it's a great club. <laughs> great so, club? Uh, not really yeah. useful for Yeah. yeah. Huh. That's gonna be way too fucking heavy to carry. I mean, yeah. I could definitely carry it, but still not yeah. useful. For, for me, it's too heavy. I don't want to weigh myself down with that. Fortunately, like, scattered around the world, there's, like, a bunch of, like, Broken equipment, like broken weapons and such. Nothing really cool <laughs> for you to be able to use. Can I use a broken weapon? Uh, that's, don't do that. Don't Why? 
it in, w- why not be... just use a not broken weapon? Well, you could just use an improvised weapon. weapon, and it would probably have the same one, damage. One, one good weapon and one broken weapon. You need a second weapon. weapon. Yes. I look at Otav and I ask him, yes. "Are you in need of a second weapon?" Please. I have an extra dagger. Do you want it? Yes. I give I him my extra dagger. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't use them. I won't kill Gum Gum. Thank you. If you do, I will I'm take like, the dagger okay. back and then kill you. If there's no loot in the main room, then I guess we're done. Yeah. 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 Wait, can I I'm, can I heal myself? I'm I'm gonna need to cry and vomit. I'm at zero spell slots right now. I will take the extra dagger off my so now you have another dagger. Happy birthday. Thank you. I think we would probably short rest. Oh, short you rest. You guys want to short rest before you come back into the cave? Um, yes. I would that like That could not be a bad idea. I would like a long rest at, yeah. <laughs> at some point. We Simply could maybe meditate. Long rest once we come back with the weapons. Yeah, well, probably. What is uh, long what rest is this funny too much to time. Yeah. Like, your short rest is one hour, right? Yeah, around there. We're already, yeah, yeah. you know, long, pushing it with, long, uh, those people with the are village. Just gonna go back and yeah. die. Yeah. Mm. Take a short rest. I'll meditate mm. as usual. Yeah. I will use Utaba. my main recovery to recover one spell slot, or I guess two. Uh, well, one spell slot in my level two spells. Yeah. So, uh, short rests don't heal you, right? Like, I still need to do that myself. They can. You would need to use a hit die if you wanted to heal. Oh, okay. And you uh, do have um... three of them now, so it's not too bad. Oh, we get three? Oh. Well, you get one per level, yeah. Okay, then, yeah, I'll, I'll do that then, uh, real quick. So. Uh, slash R. Is there a way to roll multiple dice at once, or do I just have to type it? Well, like two d six. Well, on your d six, etc. Nice. It's multiple ways you can do this. I was like, if you're using your hit dice, you can just hit the hit dice button. I just yeah. I uh, just this hit one. The dice button. And then... Yep. There you go. So you I need to do that two more four? times. Oh, Wait, what the heck? That well, first one was the d four. Well, you just need to do it till you're at full health. Yeah, four. Why? That one. Why, why, so yeah, I'm at full health. Only okay, a D4? cool. We used all your hit dice, so you can't use them yeah. again until we what have a long rest. Why, why is he rolling a D4 though? It should be at least a D8 or D6 10. D6 is. The I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm clicking on hit dice and it says D4. You might have just not changed it from the initial thing. Cause do I like, have to change oh. it? How do I change it? When yeah, you level well, up, what? How many? What do you roll for that? Um, What's your class? It is eight. The same D four. Um, What's your oh, class? Oh, it's an uh, artificer. It could be an eight. Yeah, I'm an artificer. Yeah, it's supposed to be an eight. I don't know why it's. Andrew, so your hit points are supposed to be eight. eight plus your constitution modifier. So his beginning was eight. Then he, I don't think he ever rolled his. He never rolled a D eight at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, wait. So, so can we just got, pretend that two of them are like a D eight? Have you ever added extra hit points for yourself, dude? Because at every level, level you probably you... did, but you yeah, I have the D4. Oh, oh okay. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you need to re roll. Yeah, because you, you need to your hit dice. Double your rolls. Okay, you okay. add your copy. Give me one more hit die. So, okay. Okay. Eo, give me yeah. two hit dice rolls here. Okay. There's one. Nice. And there's another one. Okay. There you go. Hopefully that puts you to max. No. Okay. That yeah, it definitely put me to max. I think he only needed to do the one because he got a full eight. And yeah. When he rolled he all three and got an eight, he was at full. So he really only needed to roll the one hit dice. No, okay. That was to just get his... Find out what his hit points should be right now because whatever oh. he was doing before was wrong. So now your hit to- point total is actually... 20. I subtracted the 8 damage that you took there, so now you can roll okay. to regain health. Okay. So that's a yeah, 4. four. Uh, and then I'll roll one more time to try to get to full. 
Okay, not full, but that's Close. five. It's all so. right. Okay, I'm fine with that. And, and you get your hit dice back after a long rest, I believe. Okay. Um, and your hit points, I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, then. A long then. rest takes, well, a long time. Yeah. It's like yeah, you know, yeah. between four time. to eight hours, depending on your class. So, you, know, you do have enough time that if you want to, you can use your uh, right tool for the jump ability that you have. Uh. Um, oh yeah, okay, let me let me see that. Um I mean sure, I guess. I don't know what I'm gonna need artisan's tools for, but it's good to well, have them. You I see, guess. artisan tools uh just mean are a broad way of uh talking about tools. it's like a set there are different types of artisan tools. So do I have to choose what type it is? Yeah, there's like alchemist supplies, calligrapher supplies. You got your smith's tools, your woodcarver tools, your painter supplies. Mm. Um, now I would just look through your stuff that you got here, see if there's anything that you might need. So, I mean. I don't know, I don't think I need anything. Like, I, I feel kind of... I feel pretty prepared and pretty set up, so... I mean, have you looked through your new abilities and such that you got with your new level? Oh, yeah, I've been looking through that. I, w I was reading that in the beginning. Uh, that, like, magic missile, Thunder Wave stuff, yeah. Yeah. So, you... So you don't see that anything uh, that you might need then? I mean, like, what, what kind of stuff am I looking for, really? Like, I have the spells that I want, I have the weapons that I want. I'm not... Okay. Like, I'm good on ammo, I think. Um, yeah, I'm good on ammo. So, I mean, I got everything I need. Okay. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to... Go ahead and log off then, I guess. Okay. I have, okay. A, I have a quick question for my uh, Tails thing before we end, because if I can pass it to someone, I would. Um, so it says here that uh, I retain the tail in mind until you bestow the Tails effect or you finish a short or long rest. So if I were to bestow it to someone and I took a short rest, would that mean the tail is like gone? It's The use is gone, so to speak? Sorry. It's, uh, it doesn't say how long it lasts, and I don't know if, like, the person who I target, um, can still have that effect even after I take a short rest. Because if not, then it's fine, I just want to make sure. Because otherwise I'll give to someone before we take a short rest. 